Welcome everybody to another episode of Towers and Gods, episode 36. We're more than happy to have you. If this is your first time just tuning in, seeing what we're about, this is Tower of God plus D&D. &D. It is a prequel story of the events that happened before Tower of God. Um, you're welcome to stick around for this episode. We have episodes in the playlist out here on the channel. There's a summary video for the very first arc if that's what you want to go see and see how this story started. But first, let me introduce our wonderful cast members. We have Isaiah as Jong. Hello! Let's go! Okay, we have Milios as Brack, the energy. <clears throat> Hi. Oh, okay, the energy has now died. <laughs> Uh, we have Sun Woo is Woo. <laughs> Yo, your boy is back. What's good? What's Welcome good? back to Sun. Yeah. Appreciate all the love. Yeah, you know I'm saying we, appreciate we all the you. love. We missed you. We missed you. I miss, I miss you guys more. Yeah. Uh, Aww. Yeah. Aww. If I'd been there, I could have stopped some of the tomfoolery that was going on. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> You're probably slamming your keyboard. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Dude, I was, out, I was literally out and I was like reading the uh, the Discord chat. When I posted yeah. that message, I was like, this don't look good. Like, none of this looks good. <laughs> <I know. laughs> what was the one thing you would have stopped had you been there? Like, for sure would have been like, no. Uh, I would I would have let the Damien thing happen. I definitely would have ah. given Lou some, some back talk, and I would have mm. definitely given Jong some back talk as well. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, well, we have... Hannah as Eden. Hello, everyone. It is I, your wonderful, normal birthday singer in the Discord. And today we have a very special belated birthday we for our wonderful, wonderful guest star and my personal best friend, Ruka, who plays a so yes. I will be giving you Happy birthday to Ruka. Yeah. So I will be giving her a rendition live, which I've already given her recorded, but now she gets it live of Can we Happy join Birthday. In? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So three, two, <laughs> one. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Happy I'm coming, Chrome. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Yeah, <laughs> Joe, Joe kind of. Joe, Joe went off the rails. <laughs> yeah. but we can't control Oh, that was beautiful. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. So uh, anyway, thank you for indulging me, everyone. Yes. I have to make her both a baffle because she's my friend. Of course. We have <laughs> thank you, thank as you, our thank special you. guest. Uh, the day after her birthday playing Ace, so welcome to you. Ruka, <laughs> happy to have you back. And of course, we have other Joe as Damien Frog. Who we oh, no, no, about. no. You guys are the real heroes here. You <laughs> oh we were just gosh. talking about you, dude. You are uh, popping off in this test. We were just talking about oh. that. You should no, be proud, no, you know? no, 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 that's not true. No, no, compliments, no, no. compliments. No, you um, guys have been take all of the compliments, Damien. <laughs> you cannot but escape them. Even, even, even the man soup turned out to be god tier. Like, yeah, yeah, that's true. true. That's true. The pepper yeah. soup, dude. Very true. You're, he's a master. Of salt, everything. pepper, water soup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought? Keep Who it simple, have? you know. Right. Master, yeah. Master of soup and the low roll confetti. Order. Brings all the duct tape to the yard. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but yes, we are here. Um, I do have a couple things I wish to see. Well, that was one of the things. Was was uh, the happy birthday. Um, also the Tower of God character popularity poll. I want to give that another shout out because it is almost at ten. Thousand votes. Let's go. Which is insane. That is nuts. So go vote in the Tower of God character popularity poll. Um, I'll put the link in the description if it's not there already. Um, you can vote three times a day for your favorite Tower of God characters. And uh, yeah, you had a couple weeks left to do so. Aside oh, from man. that, yeah. I'm gonna go vote for. I'm gonna vote for Sachi Faker right now. Yep. <laughs> Your He's actually character? in just... the top 100. So. <laughs> he is in the top 100. He's yeah. in the top 100 for what? 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we are not having this cup. We are powers and gods. This is not, not power of gods. Thank you. I just want to do a quick shout out, Ooh, and we can do it afterwards. <laughs> yes, yes, we can discuss after. <laughs> but uh, yes, but yes, yeah, so so we are here. Last episode, a lot of stuff happened. Uh, Finders Keepers got started, but it got interrupted. Uh, Damien ended up entertaining Mr. Glue with his Confidior, nuking Team Conqueror, um, and uh, and maybe a couple other casualties as well. But uh, eventually, he got fed up, dragging everyone into the center ring and telling them that basically he's going to be making some changes to this labyrinth test, at least on the outside. Meanwhile, on the inside... Uh, Brack, Ace, and the entire team of heroes on the inside have been wandering around. Ace discovered a waterfall, didn't uh, explore too much further than that as far as what the purpose is or what it does. Um, and the group also encountered the, the creature that has been lurking in the cave. Genbu staying behind to fight the creature, saving everyone while they run ahead into the rest room, the safe room. Well, who knows how safe it is, but that's that's what they're calling it. And uh, yeah, day three is winding down. The test has been shortened to six days instead of seven. And we're going to be picking up uh, there. Any, wait, any other thoughts from anyone? Or is that, is that more or less? I think, I think that's basically it. I think you're good. I think we're good. Oh, and like the video if you like the series. Uh, link to the Discord is down below as well if you want to submit memes and, and art. But uh, yeah, let's freaking do this. Okay. At this point, all of you are on the outside. You are looking at Mr. Glue, who is now standing at the mouth of the cave, watching all of you. His arms kind of crossed with those tired eyes, just looking around. And at this point, he starts to unravel the top of his head. He kind of just rips off the duct tape and kind of balls it up and throws it to the side. And uh, you can look on my screen. We actually have some art for <gasps> Mr. Glue. No, now, so. no. Ah! Not oh, 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 I like oh it. Well, he looks like a mummy now. I always thought the duct tape was. Mm -hmm. like he looks like he robbed a, a public bathroom. It does look like toilet paper. A really unfortunate porter potty incident. So, so this is where all of the toilet paper went during the pandemic. Mr. Glue toilet paper. The culprit has been discovered. But no, he looks sick though. Yeah, it looks awesome. He does. He's staring around at all of you, almost just disappointed. The test is over. Team Recall wins. But I think it'd be kind of boring to end it there, don't you? He's looking around as if waiting for an answer from anyone. Well, don't you think it'd be kind of boring to end day three on such a lackluster note? Damien, what do you think? Damien? I thought, I thought that was quite exciting. We got to see a big explosion happen and there was a lot of fighting. How could you do that? One of the members of Team Conquer slowly oh. stands up. Oh. Rankers aren't supposed to interfere like that. Mr. Glue just kind of stares at this person. Oh, that wasn't me. That was my friend. And he points his thumb over at Damien. Quite a powerful regular. And now all, all of Team Conquer just turns and looks at you, Damien, and <laughs> narrows their eyes. Some of them in shock, some of them angry. Give him a and wave. A smile. Sure, 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 sure. No, but I still hold by the fact that this is a lackluster ending. I think we should end on one more note. You. And he looks over at you, Eden. You're pretty smart, aren't you? You think you're smarter than us rankers, don't you? Bending no, the sir. rules as you see fit. The rules were open to interpretation. Mm-hmm. Do you think you can get through every test in this tower the way you are? No, sir. Good. Then how about we play one final game for the day? You. Points at you, Eden. And you. And his thumb points back at you, Damien. How about a fight to the death? Just something simple, really. Maybe if you entertain me enough, we can...
spare your lives, but I want to see what you can do against someone with as much power as I saw today. What do you say, Damien? I don't know. I'm kind of spent. I can't use that ability as many times as I want. So you're saying it won't be that entertaining? I'm saying that your expectations of me are way too high. What do you think? Looks at you, Eden. I'm not one for pitting teammates against each other. It's just a bit of fun. Ah, to the death is a little more final than fun. And I quite like being alive. Well, only like one of you alive would die, too. and only one of you would survive. Truly, this tower is about survival of the fittest, no? Yes, and if our team just won, then we are the fittest so far. Hmm. I disagree. I want to see a bit more fun. Damien, hop down. If you insist. Whoa. How about this? If you entertain me enough and make it enjoyable for everyone watching, I'll end it early. Sound fair? So Sound not killing. fair? We just have to no. entertain you. All I'll say is this. I'll know if you're not trying. I want you to fight to kill. Understood? Eden shoots a look at Damien like, what do you want to do? Do you really think it's fair to pit her against me? You saw my power firsthand. I would much rather fight someone different. I already know all of her moves. I've been on her team forever. I thought you were telling me your energy was exhausted. Wouldn't that even the playing field? It may have been a little bit too no. modest when I said I want that. To fight. I want you two to fight. Because in my view, you're opposite ends of the spectrum. Opposite? Yes. I want to see which one comes out on top. Entertainment or wisdom? What am I saying? I just want to see two of you fight. Now get in the center of the ring, please. Eden shoots one more look at Damien, like, I guess we gotta do this. I give her a nod. Okay. I gotta get my... All right, you are there on roll 20, so feel free to move your tokens. I'll actually put you in some starting positions here. Everyone's okay. kind of gathering around. Jong, how are you reacting to all this? Uh, he's you just, just you just got dragged here, you know, and all that. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, I mean, you know, kind of just licking his wounds a little bit, but he's just watching the, the fight that's about to happen. Got you. Are they going to be okay? This is Leaf. I know they're not going to kill each other, but this is scary. John? This is the tower, Leaf. Get used to it. This is the tower? I think that Mr. Yep. Blue guy is bending the rules. No, Leaf. He makes the rules. Victor is silent. To remember that. Silent as he looks ahead. Are the two of you prepared? Says Mr. Blue. As you wish. If I can just say one thing. Mm-hmm. Eden, if I do die, take these scissors to the top of the tower. She bites back a very harsh retort because she knows they're in a big predicament. As you wish. So cold, my dear friend, <laughs> barely oh. honoring my wishes. Oh, the drama, the drama. All right, three, two, one, go. 
I said go. Oh. All right. Roll initiative. Oh. Okay, I got mine. I got 17. 17? And Let's see what I get. 11. Eden, you get the first move. Oh, this is painful. Alright. Pretend to stab him and pour ketchup on him. <laughs> I'm sure it's I'm sure there's some frog themed fake blood in his lighthouse somewhere. Um Maybe in uh, one of them. <laughs> Why do I feel like we have a, a Shakespearean tragedy on our hands? Alright. Hold on. I gotta. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Screw it. We're just gonna try and end this as fast as possible. Um. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. Like, to, okay. To, to ruin his thing and then save Damien at the same time. Okay. All right. So, Eden calls forth Arrow Storm. Arrow so she store. fires a flurry of arrows into the sky that immediately rain down on a circle up to 60 feet away, which I think we're, we're good. Yep. That's a new technique yep. of yours. It is a brand new one. Uh, the circle's radius is 30 feet. You, Damien, need to make a dexterity saving throw. A dexterity I mean, saving throw. Would I be able to use my lighthouse barrier as a reaction to stop this entirely? Yes, you can, for sure. Do I have to roll against that, or? Nope, he has to roll. Uh, okay. Let me see here. Lighthouse barrier. So, go ahead and do three of those lighthouse checks, Damien. Will do. Or actually, so, can't, um, I guess you would roll, Eden, uh, since okay. it's like trying to block damage. So, All right. But he Damien, has to roll, yeah, he has to roll dex save. Yeah, so it's my, Damien, it's not I, would say, I would say Damien probably make the save, and then we can say that if, it, if you we Oops. can say that then you can make the okay. check. Well, that works. 19. Oh, 20, uh, 21, right? 21, yep. Okay. Yeah, you you make it easy. Okay, so do you, so what happens if he fails the save, or if he succeeds on the save? If he succeeds on the save, you just dodge everything completely, no damage. Okay, so there you go, you don't have to. Okay, well, let's just say for, for Flash. Okay. I, I, <laughs> for Flair. You know, because this is yeah. a fight to the death. Right. Yep. You will have to try better than that. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. Eden right, on the move? other side so that Mr. Glue can't see, she does smirk. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. Um, She is going to... Hi, roll 20. Can I grab my icon, please? Thank you. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, she is just going to run this direction, just keeping distance. That's a long... Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Cool, yeah. Cool, cool. Damien, I think I eyeballed that, right? <laughs> yeah, you did, you did. <clears throat> oh, and as my bonus action, I'm going into... Actually, hold on. Let me retcon that. She's going to run up towards him. Oh, shoot, And then okay. use bonus her bonus action of formation defense. All right, Damien, you see Eden whip out her spear and enter a defensive stance. Your turn. Okay, that's a little weird. Um, I'm Thanks a gonna... lot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, He's ran to be, you ran up to me instead of blocking. Well, it's just a defensive stance. I'm not actively blocking yet. Right. Well, uh, uh, what I'm going to do is because I am going to draw this fight out as long as possible. Great. Is I'm going to reinforce my uh, my own lighthouse. The uh, not. I'm going to use that move that gives me temporary HP. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so do that roll three times. Three lighthouse checks. Excellent. Let's see what happens. Uh, that is plus, plus three, plus three, so 20. Jeez. That is plus three, plus three, another 20. Okay. Holy I need one more lighthouse. Uh, that's a four, so that's only a uh, ten. So okay, so two good. success, two success. So make two, uh, a D four plus charisma, and then a D four plus charisma. Delightful. <clears throat> roll, 
roll, damn you. <laughs> okay, all right. So uh, plus five, plus seven. So twelve temporary HP. That is you correct. You look as these lighthouses start twirling around him, and mm -hmm. a barrier starts to form, almost like this like hologram shell around Damien. Okay. Uh. Damien, your move well, movement. For my, yes, for my final move, I move up to Eden and I say, "Good luck." Oh jeez. Just gives him a toothy grin. Wow, the fight! This fight is crazy, everybody. Says Mr. Glue from atop the cave. You All right, haven't your turn. seen nothing yet. Uh, um. All right. Held spear attack on the boy of Damien's. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be twenty-two to hit. That hits. Cool. Uh, 10 damage to you, my sir. Cut in half. Five <laughs> damage to you, my sir. <laughs> oh. In her defensive stance, she is uh, attacking with her spear while remaining on the defensive. Yep. Uh, your move. Oh, well, I mean, how well does that defensive stance do if I'm behind you? Uh, you're still in melee, so I just turn to face you. What if I had an ability that lets me just pass right through you? I'll give you a kiss on the way by. Just kidding. <laughs> that would be very. Whoa. That would be scandalous. <laughs> Whoa! Don't let Victor see that. That was that was more for other Joe than <laughs> the actual Damien. <laughs> look, so, look. Eden has distraction techniques. Some of them involve that, so you know it's fine. Bring it, Damien. Come on. Yes, Come well. On. Allow me to use my bonus action to split my scissors in half. Mm. And I will use scissor style, snip and slash. Okay, okay. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of techniques you don't use very often. I like this. Okay. Snip and slash. Yes. Slip and slide. <laughs> so make your first attack roll, Damien. Hit me, Damien. Ooh, 14. Can you remind me what the defensive stance does? Even. The defensive stance. Uh, for the next two turns, I gain three AC. So okay. that means that does not hit my sir. He snips well. forward, but now he's doing the slash. Make another roll. That would be a 26. That, that, that does it. You know, that. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be a 26. <laughs> that, that'll right. do it. That'll do it. Roll damage. D6 plus strength. Hit me, Damien. Um, seven. Seven damage. Okay. All right, so he charges forward, snips, you dodge it, but then he slices you right when you least expect it. And now I'm behind you. <laughs> yeah, yep. All right. She Nothing whips. personal, kid. <laughs> Did you say that in the, in the, in the, in the, in the actual game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ian is trying her best not to laugh. Because <laughs> she finds, remember, she finds Damien's yep, jokes yep. and stuff irresistibly funny. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, <laughs> All right. Your turn. This is my All combat right. advantage. <laughs> it might be. All right. Uh, held spear attack on Damien. Okay. That's going to be a 23. I think that probably hits. That does. Okay. Yeet. Uh, that's going to be uh, nine damage, which is technically, are we rounding up or yeah, down for the halves? All right, up. so another five damage to you, sir. It strikes your, uh, your shell, Damien. Yes. Plinking away at that temporary <laughs> HP. At this point, the regulars are starting to like kind of get excited. Some of them are cheering, you know, go, Damien. Uh, more Damien names are being yelled than Eden names. Understandable. A lot of Damien fans in the uh, in the crowd mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. I imagine Team Conqueror is probably not on that. <laughs> yeah, Team <laughs> Conqueror <laughs> are kind of just silent as they're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Many of them unconscious. <laughs> Oof. That's a, that's a shame. Poor kids. <laughs> okay, uh, Damien, your turn. Or uh, do you want to move, Eden? 
Uh, Are no, you still in defensive stance? Sorry. That was my last round of defensive stance. Perfect. So at the end of Damien, at the end of the round, I'll be out of it. So after okay. Damien's next Perfect. thing. Um, if I move, he'll get attack of opportunity, so I'm just going to stay. Okay. Damien, your turn. How <laughs> smart, but it will save you from your inevitable death. <laughs> Eden is like biting the inside of her cheek on the other side because she's trying not to laugh. Brace right. Felger, activate the fog machine. Shh, fog starts appearing all around him. <laughs> yes, yes. Eden trying to play along with this. What is this trickery? <laughs> it's a fog machine that I bought online. <laughs> she's like, damn you, play along. <laughs> oh, <I'm, laughs> I, uh, I attack twice with my scissors, by the way. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. They're like split right now? They are split. They yeah, are okay. split, yeah, yeah. So 14 and 27. I don't know. One if, one I, does not hit and the other one hits. <laughs> delightful. All right. I will be doing the damage then. Do okay. the damage. Tell me what the damage is. It is a five. A five, okay. Is it dealing damage? Yeah. Why is wouldn't it, it be? Hurt, is it hurting a lot? <laughs> I mean, it hurts. You're also talking to the person with the most HP on the team and had no damage last round, so it's fine. <laughs> I can tell you're on your last legs, Eden. <laughs> she like quietly says, Damien, stop it. I'm going to laugh. <laughs> um, okay. You get sliced by the scissors. A little bit. Mm. Cuts, the cuts are starting to add up. Yeah. And then suddenly you feel presence right behind you. And oh, shiza. Mr. Glue just looking straight down at you. He's appearing to be way taller than he does normally because he's so intimidating. I said take this seriously. And I am. It's just too easy, Mr. Glue. I'm giving you one more chance. This is a fight to the death. Right? You said no death earlier. Well, you, you said to entertain you. entertaining me enough. Stop pulling your punches. I'm not. Did you say that? Yeah. Suddenly the bandages are the duct tape. You're right. <laughs> Shoot, no, I'm, tricking, <laughs> I'm tricking myself now. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> the duct tape starts flying off his body and it wraps around your neck and lifts you into the air and you're just being <laughs> choked. Hey, I don't need your help. I'm not helping you. I'm teaching a regular lesson. That is what we test administrators are for, are we not? Yes, but you're kind of, you know, interfering with the test so far. He's tight. My tightens personal it test. Your neck. <laughs> she's like, she's trying to pull at it, and she can't, obviously. Yeah, it's like on. sticking to your neck. I mean, even if you could, it's it's yeah. stuck, and it's getting tighter and tighter, and. <laughs> You hear a little chuckle under the under the uh, duct tape. And then Victor walks forward for a second. You see him walk forward. And then, <laughs> Jong, you see the gourd start shaking. It starts rattling at your side. Not now. It just starts shaking more and more violently. And then <laughs> it flies off of what you, the, the, the strap that you had. And it just flies into the air, twisting and turning, and lands in the middle of the entire center of the uh, the ring, right next to Mr. Glue, who just looks down at it. What in the... And then starts shaking more. Boop! The cork flies off the top of it, and then smoke starts coming out of it, surrounding it and filling up the area with Mr. Glue. Do I need to roll damage at any point, or should you roll damage? I will tell you if you, if you need to. Okay! The smoke starts enveloping you. It's it's way way more way better quality than your fog fog machine. (laughs) Yep, yep. You can tell this is the real deal. It starts enveloping you, and it seems like even Mr. Glue is having a hard time determining what's happening. If a regular is interfering, and then the smoke starts to clear, you see somebody (sighs) standing in the smoke. Fresh air. Feels nice. Oh. You... Oh. Describe what, what you're wearing. Describe what you're wearing. Oh no, that's your job. 
So you, you see <laughs> Wu standing in the middle of the ring. He looks to be damp, a bit battle damaged, right? You see bruises and scabs and cuts all over his body. And he's wearing a loincloth made from his shirt. I'm glad I'm slowly losing consciousness due to the lack of oxygen. At this point, he releases you and you fall to the hey. ground. <laughs> you know, right here. What are you doing to my teammate there? You're one of the regulars. Yeah, figured you knew that, being a ranker and all. Now what's this? Why, why, why? Eden, you okay? Yeah. What's going on? I'll leave for a second. You're choking my team out. Tell me this is part of the test, oh, Mr. Great Mummy Ranker. Oh, this certainly is part of the test that you interrupted. If you wouldn't mind going back to your team, I'll continue this little game that we're having. We're having quite a bit of fun, aren't we? Actually, from what I have heard, it seems like you're having a little too much fun. Does this make any sense? Isn't the test over? Aren't we meant to return to our spots for the rest of the day? Mr. Glue. The test I can call you Mummy Ranker, right? No. I would appreciate it if you didn't, actually. Please don't hmm. do that. Fair enough. At well, this point, we're having a bit of fun. Just friends scuffling in the dirt. Right, but I got some important business to attend to, and my fun is conflicting with your fun. You so, realize here's what I suggest. Rules. He interrupts you. I you broke the participate rules? participate in Finders Keepers. I could eliminate you right now. How did I break the rules? At what point did you list any rule that I had to participate in Finders Keepers? You hadn't even mentioned the game when I was here. How about this? Uh, it's a rule now. <laughs> and you broke it. <laughs> Fine, what's the punishment? I could eliminate you. But I'm what fun curious, would that be for uh, you? Hold on. He picks up the gourd. I'm more curious Don't touch about that. this. Ah, precious item. Hmm? What is it? You can't tell, can you? Mm, maybe I can, maybe I can't. What is it? How about this? I'll make you a deal. I'll meet with you later this afternoon and tell you everything about that item and propose for you, or to you, something incredibly fun that will leave you nothing but entertained. And all you have to do is let's take a short rest for the rest of the afternoon. Roll Persuasion. It's like, where are my dice? Yeah. <laughs> First roll in a couple weeks. Let's see. First roll, I haven't even done any practice rolls. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm not going to look at the persuasion. I mean, I'll look at the persuasion, <laughs> but I don't think I need the persuasion. Oh, What's the persuasion? Okay. Yeah. What's well, three? 22. 22. He stares at you for quite a while with his eyes. Dark and shadowed, clearly hasn't slept in days. Hmm. Got that game in eyes. Are you as intriguing as your friend Damien? As entertaining? Damien, what you think? Am I as entertaining as you? Oh, um, yeah. I would say that, uh, judging by the analytics, yes, very entertaining. You heard him. Hmm, how about this? We'll meet tomorrow. And better yet, since the day is almost over today, hours are passing by, pretty soon it'll be evening, I'll give you regulars the day off tomorrow. See, oh. I'm a generous man, aren't I? You can spend the day in Roku Village. Enjoy yourself. Stay in the hot springs, meet up at the shops, and see the scenery. But when you return for days five and six, we'll have one final test. One final bout to determine which teams truly are worthy of passing. And let me say this, I'll make sure it's entertaining. Well, what do you plan to do on that day, Mr. Ranker? Since you're supposed to be administering a test and we're taking a break, what do you do? I'll let you know tomorrow. I do have a couple of stipulations, though. 
He looks at Eden and Damien. If you two had just kept fighting, I would have told you this already. I never intended to make you kill each other. Listen. Meet back up here at 5.55 p.m. sharp tomorrow evening. If you're not at the testing bureau at 5.55 p.m. sharp, you fail the test. And failing the test means you have to wait here for six teams. Oh, could be quite a long wait. One more thing. At 6 p.m. tomorrow, after I lead you all back to this ring, he looks up at the monitor above the cave. We'll watch something fun. Stay the night in your encampments. Tomorrow morning, I'll lead you to Roku Village. Get out of here. Uh, Mr. Glue, before I go, what you doing tonight then? You want to stop by our camp? I'll give you the answers you want. Saves hmm. me the energy of saying it more than once. I'm not interested. Maybe tomorrow. When I want you, I'll summon you. What a selfish guy you are, huh? <laughs> I'm just tired. And he still has the gourd at his side, and he's preparing to, like, fling off. Well, I'll see uh, you uh, regulars. Mr. Glue? Ah. My gourd? <laughs> he tosses it to you. Almost forgot. Eh, I, lo I like you. The way your mind works. It's interesting. But if you want the secrets to the gorge, you're going to have to ask me directly. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Damien. And with that, he flings away. Oh, uh, good, good, goodbye. Oh, he's gone. Eden, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What was that about exactly? I mean, I got the gist of it, but... Welcome back. <sighs> Yeah, well, my bad. Where were you? You were in the gourd? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a long story. I'll tell you guys after I get some proper clothes on. That may be a bath. A bath sounds heavenly. Eden, are you okay? Victor runs up to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. She slowly stands back up. You sure your neck? It's all red. It'll bruise. It'll be all right. Let's get her back to the base. Uh, Before you leave, one of the members of Team Conqueror walks up. Not Bug, but one of the other uh, sort of leader figures. Someone that you know as Elm. You, Damien, is it true you're the one that unleashed that attack on us? I'm afraid it is. Bug walks up. Hey, Elm, it's so... Shut up, Bug. Just you wait for days five and six. Just you wait. And he walks back with his team. How many of their players are unconscious on the ground right now? Like two. Okay. The rest of them are all banged up, though. Except for one person who doesn't appear to be damaged at all. Okay. And you see, uh, you see Crystal run up. Lily! And Lily <coughs> is coughing. Are you okay? And all the teams are just checking in on each other. All right, let's head back. Woo, you got some explaining to do, says Victor. Ooh, yeah, okay? yeah, bath first. Explaining later. What do you say, Damien? Yeah, are you okay? You seem roughed up too. It's a long story. I'm more concerned about what I didn't hear about what happened out here, though. Let's all catch up. Okay. You all uh, start heading to your encampment. And uh, we're going to cut to inside the cave. So, you all are in the safe room. Um, this big circular room. It looks exactly like the places that you would camp out at on the previous days. Misuk is praying feverishly. At this point, you can hear the mutters under her breath much louder than normal. Head just pacing back and forth and kind of expressing in frustration every once in a while. Hugo's just looking at the entrance silently. And Taki is standing there with his arms crossed, stomping his foot on the ground lightly. Tapping, I should say. And then Bracken, Ace, you're there as well. Um, 
Brock surveys the room, uh, looks at uh, everybody and their um, sort of discontent. And he goes over the hedge first. And he tries to calm hedge down um, by stating, hedge, it'll, it'll be all right. Just calm down. Priestess. Bring bring the tone down a little bit. Please, God, please save him. He's a good man. Please show mercy on him. May your guiding light lead him through the tower and protect from darkness and evil. Huh. What? What? What, Brack? Just uh, a, a little lower of a register. Just, just a smidget. Everyone here is a bit antsy. We understand that you have to speak your gospel, your word, in order for you to feel safe. Everyone has their own ways. But, as you can see, the whole room is a little bit agitated, except the gem stealer. But the whole room is agitated. It's true, she's unfazed. Okay, right. I'm not putting up a wall until he returns to us. There's no need. No need? I, no need. I want to go back for him. Go back? But... What if he's... What if that creature... If the creature got him, then the creature is coming for us next. Well, I'm coming too, says Taki. I'm not just gonna stand here and wait for him to come back. Hmm. Rabbit, how is your hand? To be honest, it's doing pretty well. Surprisingly, actually. Ever since th those rocks started floating around me more, I don't know. The pain is numbing a lot. Brack says under his breath, that's, uh, you were talking about the pain of it. Now. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We can do a little bit of a reconnaissance team. Ace. Oh, wonderful gem stealer. Oh, wonderful. Would you be so kind as to send out your queen to scout the area back where old the old man was? Why? I why? Would... Yeah, why? He's doing his job. Doing his... He could be dead out there for all we know. Or and then in. it would be in vain. Hedge, 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 hedge. What are you saying? If we go back, or go for him, or all that, his sacrifice would be in vain. He told us to run, and to be safe. If y'all want to risk everything that he just is bleeding for, then uh, it seems a bit counterproductive. He's a defender. It's what he does. It may be what he does, but if he doesn't stop the monster, then the monster is just going to meet back up with us. That's fine, but we don't know that yet. Well, I think that we do know that because it met up with us three times so far. If he falls, then it will meet up with us for a fourth. I think we should go back and help him. I think he's hundreds of years old and this is what he does. He said thousands, but I think we should go back and help him. I think we should let God... We should have faith in God's decision. God isn't going to help us in this situation right now. God acted through Genbu just a few moments ago. And I believe Listen. We trust him. I think he knows what he's doing. He's done it before. If you want to get in his way, provide the partitioner some more, you know, targets. That thing isn't meant to be killed. It's meant to be survived. I think anything with a pulse can be killed. Anything with any sort of life can die. All you need is the right tool and the right people to supply said death. I think we should go back. I don't agree. You can stay here. I just need you to scout forward. Yeah, there's no harm in using your observer, right? You're not risking anything. I could be. But I don't expect you guys to think that far ahead. And so, she'll take out her observer. 
Brack, and she'll whisper to him, Just because you have the sheepdog mentality doesn't mean that they do. They cannot survive what you survive. If you're a leader, you think about the herd, and not the individual who's doing his job. Brack hears her, and then he turns around to everyone else. You all stay here. No one needs to die for my sake. I'll go alone. But Taki starts objecting. Well, I can go with you. I, I don't want to. He swallows. Rock puts his hand on Taki's shoulder. And then who would actually lead the rest of the people here? You're the next in line. He winks at Taki, but then looks behind to Big H and like, you're the real leader. <laughs> I am? I'm still yes. in command? Yes. I'll do my Ace best. Just, he salutes. I'll do my best. Ace just stares at Brack. <laughs> oh, God. All right. What Hugo. exactly? Mm -hmm. No, go ahead. I was just going to say Hugo walks up and puts his hand on your shoulder, Brack, and kind of nods to you. Don't worry. I'll be back. If you guys want to ensure my safety... Ah, nah. We're not going to do that. Don't worry, I'll be back. Alright, hold up. I'll observe ahead, and if we don't see them... Then we stay here. Exactly. If we see them... Then you can go forward and assist, if you so desire. But if we don't see anything, you're staying here. Agreed? Agreed. Alright, she'll send Queen out. Okay. I don't think my internet lagged a bit there. I think we're good. Okay. Make an observer check, so proficiency and wisdom added on. Dirty 20. Okay. First roll, 18. Let's go. Okay. Queen, uh flies out down into the labyrinth and you're looking at your pocket seeing the footage that's picking up and i'm assuming it's dark so i'm assuming you're gonna shine like a little light as well mm -hmm. you're looking around you go back to the spot where the two of them were but you don't see them there you see you do see some blood stains on the ground and, and on the walls to be expected but you don't see or hear anything you're looking around in the areas the surrounding areas nothing they're not there they're not there no they're not there you're telling me the truth yes i'm telling you the truth and she ah well see yeah, that's the thing i I lied. I'm going anyway. I had my fingers crossed the whole time. Barack. <sighs> if you're leader, I expect you to act like one. Fine. Fine. Brack Listen. goes over to the corner and just sits down. <sighs> She'll call the observer back. I just... You all need to understand that this is a game. Some people are pieces that are active and some aren't. Genbu seemed to be an active piece. He knows what he's doing. And he's done it before. Do Even we understand? Hedge, Hedge kind of just shakes his head and walks over and starts setting up camp. And then Miso continues to pray, quieter now. Hugo pulls out a piece of wood and starts carving. And Taki is just still tapping his feet on the ground. Ace will just... Is Brack, like, crouching? Or is he sitting? He's just sitting. Like, normal position. One leg out. One arm on, like, his foot. Kind of like this. She'll, she'll go over and... Kind of sit, like, back to back to him cross our arms and lean against him yeah for sure i mean brack you you feel a sitting down behind you leaning against you brack just says back to her hoping that nobody else in the room hears her why did you stop me why did what 
Why did you stop me? Because you need to stay alive. Yeah, but it's the leader's job to ensure that all of his people are alive. I'm not so sure Gambu's one of our people. Why is that? Because he's a defender, and he's done this before. That partitioner isn't a new one. Doesn't look... You know, it, it, it seems like this is a game. This is part of it. He fights it, he wears it off, and we might get a chance. Uh, he... The way he spoke to me, and the way that he seems, I could be wrong. I don't know. It just seems that... It's just stupid to get attached, okay? Oh. You've got a lot of people who need you here. He's experienced. He can handle himself. These people, not so much. But that's besides the point. When he decided to follow us, he became part of my responsibility. And because of the fact that I share a responsibility with his life, I need to ensure that he makes it back to us. I don't care about this game. I care about you all that are here with me right now. Listen, listen, just... Just because your leader doesn't give you the right to ignore other people's free will. I didn't ignore their free will. I told them that they could stay. No, I mean with Gembu. He chose to do that, and he told you to run. He it was chose, his choice. He, cho he chose to do that while he was while he was barely able to fend off the creature. The creature started to get attacks in faster and quicker as we were running away like cowards. What do you want, Brack? I want to save the young man. Why do you want to save the young man? I can't fully explain it, but it feels as though that's what I'm supposed to do. It's not exactly science or, or math or even a part of her God's design. It's something that I feel I have to do. Because if he dies, then it will just be another failure on my record since I started this climb. And I'm tired of failing. Well, you're going to keep failing if you put your, uh, you know, your worth in other people's successes, and especially their lives. It seems like in the tower, that would be the worst thing to do to set yourself up for. People die in this tower. It's what, it's what the tower's for. And it's not on you if they do. It's on me if they're a part of my squad and they die. It's on me if I have the capability to do something and do nothing. Well, now you can do something. You can keep the people he sacrificed himself for safe. They're I trusted safe. you to do that. Uh, Brock just grumbles under his voice. This old man grumbles. <laughs> She's like, kind of gives him a hearty pat on the back, like, you're a good... You're a good person, Breck. It just, uh... This tower isn't meant for those types. Well... Everyone, I guess... It's getting on evening now. We should probably set up a watch and the rest of us get some rest before tomorrow. Day four of seven. I'll take first watch. Big H, you take second watch. Ace, do whatever you do. Hedge, third watch. Then I'll take I'll take fourth watch. No, I can take fourth Ace. watch. It's okay. Ace <clears throat> just looks at Brack. Don't even try it. Try, try what? Brack Don't, just smiling. I'll be awake the whole time. Uh-huh. You're not going to sleep at all if you do that. 
I know. I want to sleep anyways if I know he's trying to sneak out. Sneak out? What? Why would I sneak out? You're I have no reason to. You talked me down. You you got me off the ledge. Brack, you are wholesomely stupid. I've met your types before, okay? I'm not stupid. They I don't let tested. go until they go after things and do the success. They have this good talk. Yeah, yeah, you talk me down. You know, and then they sneak off. Okay? All right. Still Young's my soulmate. I know wholesome stupid. <laughs> Well, you all are settling <laughs> into she's the room. Grumbling. <laughs> okay. You're settling into the room. Uh, you know, time is passing by. Glancing at the entrance, it's just total darkness. Um, and this, you just hear the mumbling coming from Misuk. That's pretty much the only sound being made. But we'll cut back to the outside here. Um, I'm going to say that uh, most, you know, we'll, we'll, it's getting on evening now. So we'll, we'll, we'll cut here, spend some evening time, but... A majority of anything you would like to do can be spent um, on day four. So we'll cut to evening, evening of day three. You all have made it back to the encampment. Son, you're muted if you're talking. Oh, shoot. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Oh, I am muted. I did say something. My bad. Thank you. Go for it. Uh, <laughs> Take two. I did, it was just a long sigh and I plopped down into the throne. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Probably should put some clothes on at some point, huh? You think? Yeah, you probably should. Yeah, we'll get to it. We got any food? Yeah. I haven't eaten in quite some time. We got Ian some throws really him to... What do we have? We got like some it? good soup. Good soup. Soup? Who made the soup? John, was it you? No, it was Damien. <laughs> I did make it, it's true. <laughs> and he's weirdly very proud of it. Do you have any left over? <laughs> it might be a little cold, but I'm sure I can get some for you. I'll have a little bit. <laughs> 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 Stop, oh. you're making me laugh now. <laughs> the giggle bug has infected the entire party. <laughs> let me get some soup, bro. Let me get some soup. Oh, man. <sighs> I, sh I, I shake my big witch's frog cauldron. See if there's any soup left. I pour yeah. it into the mug and I hand it over. Cold, warm, whatever. I just like knock it back. Yo, this is good. This is really good. And it's not just because I'm hungry. Yo, since when could you cook? It's never actually. Grace Felger looks proud atop Damien's head, just kind of, you know, arms I, crossed. I kind of like up. point at Grace Felger. I'm like, was was this you? points between him and Damien. It was a stroke of luck, one might say. <laughs> you might have a knack for this, man. We're gonna get you in the kitchen more often. Thanks, though. This was good. I feel a lot better. I'm glad you enjoy it. So, Wu, did you find what you were looking for? Yeah, bro. We got it. I'll, let, I'll tell you more about it later, but I guess I do owe you guys an explanation. I'm sorry. I should have said something, but I figured John would let you guys know. And then when I got there, I thought about it and I realized John wouldn't really let you guys know. Uh -huh. So that's on me. No, told don't sweat it. Never mind. I Wait, did John. tell him, not, I told him what I told him, but you know, eh, whatever. The point is, sure. I'm back now. We're good. What, so why did you go there? Was it, uh, it must have been. I mean, I don't do things that I don't want to do often if it's not important. Basically, Eden, you remember the other day when you stumbled upon me having that conversation? Yeah. Yeah, my master told, sent me on a little errand, as it were. And I pull out the gourd. See, I've had this thing for going on eight years now. And it's even crazier than I even imagined. I thought I understood it pretty well. But based on what I learned in there, this thing, it's 
got a lot more capabilities than even I knew. As far as I'm concerned, even though it's not ranked, I'm pretty sure the workshop will consider this somewhere along the lines of B rank given its contents. Wow. Hmm. I knew it was special because of that unending alcohol, but the fact that there's. Wait a minute. How much can you do in that gourd? I feel like we deserve an explanation. A little bit more intricate than I first thought myself. At first, I thought it was a similar contraption to something I experienced in the past, but it turns out this is a prototype for that. The gourd in itself isn't a gourd. It's actually much bigger. And my master has created a contract on every single floor all the way up to the 100th floor to compress this device. Ultimately speaking, it's a giant suspendium. And there's a device that transports any organic or inorganic matter directly inside of it or outside of it at breakneck speed. Would Leaf... See, Sorry, go ahead. What, what, what did Leaf say? I was just going to say, does, would Leaf know your master's name or not? Yeah. Yeah, she knows. Wow. Master Zushi's amazing. Yeah, the old man always has a trick or two up his sleeve. But that's not all. So it goes further than that. Basically, you guys can't tell anybody I told you this, and as far as anybody else is concerned, it's just a gourd. But this is based off of prototype technology that my family had used in the past. That's all I can really say. But inside this gourd, let's just say it's a pretty vast space. And in that space, there's a lot of contraptions, traps, roadblocks, and the like that my master has concocted with the workshop. I thought it was just a storage space, but it turns out that this is a care package from him. And there's lots to be discovered in there. Either way, told me there was an item in there that I always wanted to take from him. And he said it was my time to have it, as long as I could clear the test. I don't want to get into the specifics. It was annoying. I you met somebody from us. my test. Sorry? Mm -hmm. You met What'd you say? somebody in... Well, what I were you going to say? I just wanted to know what the item was. As you know, the Syndicate deals in all manner of items, and it's our job to understand its worth, right? Uh, no. No, 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 nobody said this is an item for the Syndicate. This is my item. Well, sure, but it feels like we should, okay, as a team, Team Recall, we should know what the item is, right? Uh, let's just say I'd rather play it close to the chest for now. But this item is even higher of, of a higher caliber than the gourd itself that it came out of. And if used right, it might get us out of some sticky situations later. Well, that's pretty going. much all I can say. Uh, what was that, John? I was just saying, well, he said, let's hope he's right about the item. No, I... I give I kind of give Jong a look as if to to suggest that I will tell him more about it later. He nods. But yeah, I mean, it's a longer story than that. Not much that I feel that I have enough energy to talk about now. What what happened while I was gone? I caught a bit of it at the tail end. But... We can say that we the group summarizes it to you. Oh. Yeah, and then once they were fighting, uh, that's when you came out of the gourd. I see. Yeah. Hold on. So, you weren't in there for very long then. Must have been a pretty easy test. <sighs> this is a prototype, so don't take anything I say at face value. As a matter of fact, I'm not quite sure how it works. But let's just say this technology is based off of something the workshop developed years ago for our family head. And inside suspendium spaces, time doesn't pass as it usually does. However, it doesn't seem like they got it quite right with my gourd. Time is actually slightly accelerated, even though. Oh, oh. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. hey, there oh, you go. You're good. Welcome back. Even though organic and inorganic ma matter don't change while inside of it. From my estimation, I was probably in there about a week or so. But, out here, seems like only a day has passed. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Victor kind of rubs his hands together. We could, we could make use of that, right? Victor, I know what you're thinking, and you're not wrong, but now's not the time. Fair enough. But, well, I'm glad to see you back, Wu. We really missed you. Oh, I give her a hug. I yeah. give her a hug real quick. Yeah, but I trust you. Sorry I didn't, sorry I didn't let you know. No, it's okay. I knew there must have been a good reason. But Eden, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. And Damien, you sure you're okay? You spent a lot of time with Mr. Glue. I didn't really have to do much. I just played my role to perfection. Right. At the loss of Team Conqueror. They're fine. They're not dead. They'll wounds and they'll come back tomorrow. It'll be fine. It should be okay. I have no doubt. But we do have the boon. Which means Brack's chances of survival have grown even more. That's yeah. true. And in the end, I mean, our fate depends on him. Who's to say all of our efforts here will even be worth anything if Brack doesn't get out of there? You're right. You guys serious? This is it the kind of energy that's been perpetuating since I've been gone? You mean when Brack gets out of there and when we pass the test? Come on. I mean, I have no doubt that he'll pass. I'm just saying what the situation is, if it wasn't already clear. Hmm. Well, what do you guys propose we do going forward? Who knows what that madman is cooking up? Despite everything, this test does rely on cooperation. But who knows exactly what is happening on the inside of the labyrinth and what the other members, who the other heroes, are saying to their teams. Oh, we actually didn't mention this because it happened just after you went missing. We actually also got to talk to Brack for a little while. And Taki. Wait, you talked to the people inside the labyrinth? Yeah. Um, I'm guessing with that device over there. Right. I guess they found a shadow coin or whatever. But there's also Everybody's one big... Everybody's okay? Yeah, the heroes are okay. Taki didn't take the news very well about Beryl. But, <clears throat> but there's also one last thing. Um, Remember Lyria? Still Young's. Still Young's girl? Yeah. Um, yeah. She's in the labyrinth with them. What do you mean she's in the labyrinth? I didn't see her participating in this test. Who is she? Uh, apparently. Yeah, Eden? She's the cargo that they're supposed to get out of there. Mm. I don't know what the details mm. are, but she's the prize they gotta pull out. <sighs> As if this test couldn't even get more bootleg. Okay, well, did you let Silion know? Well, Leaf yeah, I was did. supposed to. Come I did, him. I did, but he hasn't responded. Really? Doesn't he text you back super fast? Yeah, yeah. Maybe they're taking a test or something. Hmm. I wouldn't be worried about them. Well, that is complicating. Oh, I'm going to go find clothes. I'll be back. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. It's getting darker as the evening is passing on. Well, with what little energy I have left, I will take my place atop the wall and make sure that nothing happens to us. He's got some rest, bro. What are you talking about? I say, Damien, you need the rest more than anybody. Mm -hmm. Take tonight off. I'll take care of it. Are you sure? Yeah. 
I mean. No, 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 no. I'll keep watch. I'm the keeper after all, and uh... And the keeper's supposed to stay in the base, not on the wall. Fine. I'll keep watch though from inside the base. You never know who can come through now that my fence has been destroyed. I thought you repaired it. Not yet. It's still being repaired. It's hard work, you know? <sighs> Damien, we rest. I'll watch in the front. Victor can watch from in here. Eden. The rest of y'all get rest. Eden? Hmm? It's okay if you're hurt. And? That's all. Right. <clears throat> all right. Get some rest, Damien. Woo, welcome back. Good to have you back. And you seem like you need rest, too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just, like, put on the same outfit that I had on before. Okay. How, how many of those do you ha do you you have a lot of those in your gourd? Uh, I got a lot of everything in this gourd. And there's things I don't even know about in here, apparently. <laughs> apparently. All right. Well. We Glad you're okay, for... though. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Damien, you end up receiving a call from Min over the lighthouse. Oh, um, all right. Um... Hello? King, king, king of the town. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, <laughs> just checking in. We are partners after all. How you doing? How's the team going? Oh, uh, things are going well. Good, good. We've, we've reunited with an old friend who has disappeared for the day. Ah, and okay. despite the sit stressful situation, I do think that everything is all good here. Good, good. Have you listened to King? Yeah, come on, come on. You know it's good. You know it's five stars, five out of five. Come on, come on. Oh, I haven't had a chance to listen to it after oh, everything's going on. King, bro. <laughs> Dude, we, could, we, could, we could listen to it together. What do you say? Oh no. Uh, Tomorrow, I, oh, in Roku Village, we could have a party. And we can blast it on the speakers. Uh, sure, yeah, yes. in Roku Village. I like that. Sounds delightful. Yes, we'll have a party. It is the last day before the two-day final test, Ooh. So. I suppose that is true. I'll look forward to it. All right, man. Take care, dude. Peace. Have a good night. Great job planting your own death flags during the call, man. Fire. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, the night is, you know, the night is continuing. The evening is going on and on. Is there anything of note from anybody in this group? Uh, I need to talk with Joan. That's about it. All right. How would you like to initiate that conversation? We go into the training area, bro. It's a very... No words need to be said. It's just a nod and a point. <laughs> okay, okay. So, John, he invites up. you to go train. Okay, I follow. All right. It's just the two of you alone in the area. Well... I gotta say, man, the mission was successful. Wasn't yeah. worth it in my opinion, but I guess we'll see right now. If it's changed, it's changed. Well, you up for a little bout? Sure, why not? I wanna test it out real quick. You know, make sure that the old man isn't playing games with me yet again. Been whole week in there with nothing but serpents and a clone of red boy and he would taunt me with that same trick that i put anyway the man is a clown and i swear to god the next time i see him i will win the next prank but yeah let's test this baby out see if it's worth the trip okay sure All hit right. me with something bro anything something strong uh okay Hold on, let me pull up my shirt real quick. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, what, what you gonna slap? I guess I'll just use... I'll just use Deadly Lightning. Sure. You, you That's it? Creates a big oh. bang of uh, electricity. 
I was expecting something stronger than that, but all right. <laughs> well, damn, how strong are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> well, to really test this thing, I need something that's one of your best. After okay, all, okay. if I'm going to use this against a ranker, I got to be sure it works. And you're okay. sure what you said about it's true? That'll help us with Mr. Glue? Well, it's been used against me. And as far as I'm concerned, yeah. All right. Let's try it. All right. So I'm going to use Light Sparker on myself. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to use... Or I mean, like, all right. So are we counting this as, as combat? Like, what I have, like... No, I mean, nah. I don't think so. Okay. Well, then, all right. Then we're not going to do that. We'll just do uh, Shinsu Technique Morning Bolt. Oh, shoot. Okay. So he's not using uh, Deadly Lightning. He's creating a huge ray of sh electric Shinsu right at you from his hands. All right. Um, Joe, can I do this without rolling this time just to yeah. see? Yeah, yes you can. All right, cool. All right, so basically as you do this, Wu pulls out an item from the board and you see a somewhat medium size, I'd say like slightly shorter than Zhang's uh, sword fan with a red hilt and a black outline and five green leaves at the top of it. And I grab it and I swing it forward at the attack. And then Joe, I'll leave the rest to you, bro. Sure, sure. He swings it as hard as he can, hitting it dead on. And then are you like, you're just hitting it? Just kind of like in general, slamming it back? I'm, I'm gonna like slam it like right as it approaches, yeah. Right, so right as it's about to hit him, he slams it, the bolt as it's like firing at him. And then he ricochets it and it, it starts like, it bounces all the way away from him, both of you bouncing off into a corner of the ring and the lightning kind of doo -doo 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 sizzles and fizzles out after he ricochets it away. Wow. I have to practice the aim with this thing. What? So, Seems like it's the same old fan. Do you really think that fan could help us beat Mr. Glue? John, this fan, this fan right here, I'll tell you a little story. Once when I was a young lad, my master and I used oh, to have boy. sparring matches. John like slowly sits down. <laughs> Jog is so used to me going on these <laughs> edges. My master and I used to train all the time and he used this against me quite a bit. I used to get mad because I figured, well, hey, you just got a really powerful item as you always do and you're beating me with it. It's broken. It's kind of a cheat code. And then he told me to try it and I did and it didn't work, obviously because there's more to it than that. But basically, this is my master Zushi's banana leaf fan. He stole it from his grandma when he was a kid, he told me. It was a gift to her from somebody very important. And she didn't really care for it much, so he took it. He swears she hasn't noticed, but I'm sure she has and just doesn't really care. Either way, it's a B plus rank item. Something that a regular probably shouldn't have. but. Yeah, my master's out of his mind. Hmm. So, if we need it, I'll use it. Well, based off the way Mr. Glue's been acting, I think we're going to need it. Yeah, I think it might surprise even him. Let's hope so, because... Either way, you guys seem to have done okay for yourselves while I was gone. How are you feeling? I mean... You want the BS answer or the real one? You know you can't BS me even if you tried. I don't know, man. I feel like... <sighs> Thought after getting off the 21st floor, things we had easier in terms of I don't know, trying to come to terms with who I am, what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know, every day that goes by, this team just feels like less and less of a fit for me. I don't know. You feel Start like we're, we're holding you back or that your ideals don't resonate with ours? No, just the opposite, I think. I think this team could get a lot done if I wasn't here. 
Well, I spent a lot of time with my master training. It's only until recently I realized that he really just turned me into a killer. I thought that if I fell into this team and took the trek up, <laughs> I don't know, that I could just pick up those those feelings for people, those those instincts, but I don't have them. I don't I don't look at life the same way most people do, or most people should, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, there's no right or wrong way to look at life. Brother, I thought you knew that. Well, I don't mean... I know what you mean, but... Realistically speaking, are you sure? Are you even really hearing yourself? Do you think that that's all you're good for? Do you think look, that that's your path? Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna roll strength. You better make a strength saving throw. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a nat one. <laughs> that's an 18. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Did this uh, guy we were trying to do for me? <laughs> Wu was gonna Wu was gonna slap him up the backside of his head, but, like, I guess I kind yeah. of, like, do the maneuver, and I'm too sleep-deprived, so I stumble. I would say, too, yeah, <laughs> like, your arm is, like, bruised up, and, yeah. <laughs> Ignore that. But anyway... Look, Zhang, you can't lie to me as much as you think you can, and the rest of the team cares about you more than you'll ever know. I know there's something going on. There's nothing I can do about it. It's up to you to figure it out. But you don't have to pretend with me, man. Just tell me what's going on. I don't ever want to be in a situation where I can't help my brother again, and that's what you are to me. brother <laughs> well you remember when I told you that the way things went down with Sir Henry it, I I don't know it felt it felt good to beat him to kill him I mean I I've been thinking that for a while, maybe it was, it was just Lord Signe, that spirit inside me. Maybe she was possessing me or, or influencing me. So you admit that she's there? Yeah, but that impulse doesn't come from her. Something I've been fighting since the day I was born. Let me ask you a question. That impulse, if it really has been there since the day you've born, why haven't you followed it up until now? Why didn't it drive your decisions? Well, when I was young, my mother did her best to stave it off. I don't know, she was good at tempering it and Why started... do you think that was, John? Why do you think your mother went out of your way to try and temper that? Because she was kind. No, it's more than that. It's because she cared about you. And she, much wiser than you, knew where that path leads. It Here's only leads to your own destruction. That path? That same path of restraint is what caused me to not want to fight Elias. And that's why I lost. And you and have that lost. awareness now. And you'll never lose again. You can't put everything on that one moment. We've talked about this. It you don't know how things would have turned out. But let me ask you this. just that day, Wu. That same restraint. That same decision to not fight. Is the decision 
is the decision to lay down your arms and not engage the same thing as deciding not to take lives? Is your current infatuation and preoccupation with taking life something that you really believe is linked to that? I don't think it is. I think you're making it an end-all, be-all type of situation when every situation is volatile. You killed Sir Henry. Cool. To be fair, I might have killed him myself. Probably not, but there's a chance. Right? The thing I'm worried about for you, Jong, and now that you've told me, and I had an idea, but now that you've told me this, don't let that power or that thirst for power control you. Don't let anybody's ideas control you. If that's how you truly feel, as long as you can channel it in a positive direction, you got my endorsement. But the moment you start to lose yourself, and I've said this before and I'll keep saying it until it sinks in, the moment you do something that I know you deep down wouldn't want, the moment that you hurt the people that you genuinely care about, it'll be too late. And then I'll be forced to stop you. Just think about everything we've been through, man. Think about the people around you. Eden, you seemed unconcerned with the fact that she was injured earlier. That's not the Jong that I know. Well, I'm not... Look. When you lose people... I don't know. It's easier to... You don't feel it as bad if you just... Don't think about it. Well, that's something that I agree with you 100% on. Haven't been able to get past that myself. But promise me one thing. Out of anything you do. And I'll promise you in turn that I won't stop you unless I think it's necessary. Be true to the heart that you had. Before the confrontation with Elias, the person that you were, try and find him again. Because I feel like that, lad, will be able to guide you more effectively into the future than any of us can. That's the problem, Will. I think that kid's dead. Let's bring him back to life. It's that simple. Nothing simple. As a matter of fact, it's going to be a shit ton of work, but we can do it. I don't just mean because of that fight with Elias. I mean, all the years I spent with Sung Hoon, so much of what I learned from him was... <sighs> I think whoever or whatever version of Zhang woke up, That's all that's left. And I just kind of reach my hand out to him, like asking him to shake it. He reaches you're not, it. You're not going to find the answer today. Probably not going to find it in the next couple of years, but I'll be here for you and we'll figure it out together. And any time that you think that that's not a possibility, remember this conversation. Yeah. Okay. Do that. And, I, and then I slam on the back. So, Damien out cooked you, huh? I wouldn't call it out cooking. I don't Everybody know, man. The soup was pretty tasty. Yeah, well, let's see him try to replicate it. Um, as you're talking about the soup and everything, you're you're just chit chatting. Um Damien, you're on the wall. Victor sits down next to you. Fence is complete. That's good. We'll have to keep the locals out to top the wall. Damien. Yes. How hard were you trying against Eden? Well, I was putting on a show. Obviously. 
and I really had no intention of hurting her. I think we both understood that. What but if the still... ranger had pushed it? What wow. if there was no other option? Well, I am lucky that Wu showed up when he did. But what if he wow. hadn't shown up? I was ready to take the fall there then. You're a good guy, Damien. Really, mm -hmm. you are. Oh, no, no, no. Really, I'm not. No, you... You impress me. Really. Well, that is high praise coming from my new underling. Look. Underling might underlings. be a bit large. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I just... How about high praise coming from Kuhn Victor? Well, it is something. I just want you to know that everything I do now, I do for the team. And that no matter how shady something I do may look, the team is what comes first. And that's what I decided back on the 21st floor. So, as long as you guys are with me, I'm with you. Simple as that. Team comes first, but your self-sacrifice, giving yourself up for your teammate, he looks over at you. I don't oh. know if I could do that. It really is... Uh comes from a place of uh, not being as important, feeling as important as uh, other people. <laughs> well, that's a terrible place to draw your inspiration from. I'm heading to bed. Thanks for keeping watch. Of course. Anytime. Um, I'm going to say the night continues on. Um, any other conversations? You know, the night's continuing. Inside the cave, Brack, in the morning time, who would be keeping watch? Like 4 a.m. Hey. to 6 a.m. to you'd be Brack, you? Brack would be keeping watch. It, it'll go back like in a circle. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Ace, are you awake? Did you really stay up through the night? Or did you end up? Okay. Okay. She she stayed awake solely for Brack shifts. Okay. Got you. Sure. So she might have like slept a few winks during some others, but like was a hundred percent aware of yeah. anyone trying to leave. Spirak, you're keeping watch. It's very silent, just completely dead, unsettlingly quiet. But at around 6 a.m., you hear a muffled footstep coming from the entrance. And then a bit of a pause, and then you hear another one. And then another footstep coming closer and closer to you. He he runs over to uh, Ace and he asks her, "Send your pocket out." I said pocket. Send your observer out. <laughs> okay. Got it. She'll send it. You don't even need to roll. Okay. I'll send you a message on Discord. And she's making sure it's to herself, too, because she does not trust uh, Brack to not react first and fast. Sure. All right, sent you the message in our private chat in the server. Oof. Okay. And uh, he looks normal? Like, no, no tricks? From what you can tell. All right. Is everyone else sleeping? Yeah, except for Bragg. All right. So she's gonna she's gonna be like, all right. She's gonna like whisper in like, it's Ganbu. He looks all right. He's coming. He looks all right. A little beat up, but he's okay. He's not. 
he's not dead. But. What, what? Let's approach it. Let's, let's, me and you, we'll, we'll approach it. We'll approach him. Together, carefully. Uh, okay. At this point, the footsteps have gotten, you can clearly hear them now. All right, Ace will go, we'll go stop. towards him. Okay. And you hear the walking stick at this point as well, as Genbu slowly walks into the room. <sighs> you look and uh, you see a bit of blood over his sash, and you can tell his clothes are all dirty and roughed up, and he's got a big cut on his right cheek where the, drug is, the blood is dried up, but he just stops and smiles. Hello, young man. Oh, hello, young man me. Hello, young man you. How did you survive? Oh, to be honest, I mostly ran. But I think I did a pretty good job at fending him off. You ran? How did you escape? I need to rest. In a couple of hours, could we talk more? Can she insight check him? Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, old man, that's not happening. Oh, my rolls are great today. Uh, inside. Which is a proficiency. Aha. That's true. 21. So what are you trying to, are you trying to tell if he's like lying about the situation or? She's, she's looking to see if he's lying and if he's being evasive. Mm -hmm. Basically, like, I, she doesn't fully trust that he's okay. not. Sure. With the bureau. I see. I see. Well, most of what he said is definitely true. He see, but mm -hmm. he hit he is you can tell he's holding back a little bit. Like there is more info that he has not said. Yeah, that's what she thought. Um I would tell you everything once I get a little bit of shut eye. Is that oh. acceptable? Sure, sure, sure. A defender deserves a champion's rest. Go ahead and pick any rock. I don't need a rock. All I need is a corner of the room. Whatever you need. He, uh... He walks over. Very slow. It takes him a long time to reach one of the corners. He kind of stands there. And then leans his head back. And then you hear the heavy breathing like two seconds after. I see he's a snorer as well. Surprised I didn't pick up on that for the past couple of days. All right. Ace is just staring at him. Brack looking at uh, Ace. Uh, what you pick up there, champ? Slowly <laughs> looks in like champ. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. How old are you? How old are you? Brack uh, thinking back to when he thought he was older than Gimbo. I don't know. 25, 26. I lost count after 20. I don't. I'm not oh, that old. How old are you? You're an infant. <laughs> uh, just know that, uh,. I'm way older than you. Now, what? Now, back to what I was saying. What's up, champ? Like, what? Why are you staring at him? See, you must be like really older than me because the, the lingo that you keep using is so weird. Um, Young madam of the queen and king variety, can you please tell me what's going on in your mind? All right, all right, all right. Uh, she doesn't. She just. She kind of stares at Genbu, back to Brack. What I said earlier, I still kind of... There's something going on, something's not lining up. You think he's lying? I don't think he's lying, I just don't think he's telling the full truth. 
Is uh... How... no, there was a lot of blood on that floor. There's not a lot of blood on him. A lot of blood on the floor. You didn't tell me anything about no blood. I showed you. You didn't look. Liar! I did look! Then why didn't you see the blood? Do you have no sight too? Are you... What? You losing it in your old age? Gee. Can Brock roll the step on her toe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say you can roll athletics and ace. If you want to dodge, you can roll acrobatics. Oh, beautiful. Okay. 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 Champions. Old man. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Jeez. The slander. So the athletics. Of ace's toe depends on it. Dirty 20. Damn, what is <laughs> this? <laughs> All the practice rolls in the world couldn't save me from this. <laughs> so I rolled in that one. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's, she's, gonna, she's gonna move her foot and like kick his shin. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you you like you try your best, but yeah, Ace easily dodges and kicks you in the shin. <laughs> I want to add that as she moves her foot and kick me in the shin, I double stub my foot because I try to put down the other foot to grab my other foot. And then I try to stomp again. I then stub my toe again. And so now I'm on the ground just rocking back and forward, trying to figure out where did I go wrong. Is there a oh tower life alert? You fall and you can get up. She's just so smug right now. <laughs> What's going on? Hedge wakes up. Up my toes. Oh, nothing, nothing. Brax Bamboo's just back. His... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone, at this point now, everyone's like, what? Hey, sleeping. The old man. Oh, Hi. shoot. Everyone, everyone. Shh. Shh. Come in. Come in. Come they all gather. Right Misook is still sleeping, though. It's okay. She can sleep. All right. Um. So, here's the thing. Ace tells them the thing. What? Tell them the thing. What thing? That you can't. That you're old? No. God dang it. What is. What? Tell them what She's you told smirking. me about the blood. <laughs> there was. There was blood. There was a lot of blood. But Gambu seems to have survived. It's to be expected in, in battle. It's you know, everything is just, just, just be wary. You know, stranger danger, stuff like that. She looks very uncomfortable. Okay. Hugo is giving you a look, just like narrow, he is. narrow eyes. Of course just he freaking is. She stares back. <laughs> he's he's not letting go. He's this time. He's just just staring at you. Touche. So Brack, you know the two of them are just staring at each other, and it's just silence. Brack, uh, Brack acts Taki, um, Rabbit. Yeah. When the old man cast a barrier on you, did anything feel weird or strange? Uh, no. It just lasted. It only lasted for a moment, though, because when the golem attacked me, uh, the barrier was no longer up, and I managed to block it myself with my steel arms. So it was because up. apparently they're really strong now. Ten family blood, you know what I mean? No, it was, the, it was probably the fragments. But yeah, he, the barrier was up for sure. I, I, I could tell it was substantial. I think he look. He looks back at the old man, and then he tries to remember everyone who he cast the barrier on, like during the fight. Can he? Can he roll a history? Somebody hates me today. Like I don't know what I did wrong. Like I had to look. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. It's it ain't looking pretty. It's um, it's a ten. <laughs> yeah, you don't really remember too much. You remember when Ace was like climbing on the the barriers and stuff like that, but that's about it. Right. Okay, something isn't right. Wow, oh. really? No idea. Didn't mention it. 
Okay, He's little Miss Smarty right Pants. Okay, little Miss Smarty Pants. You keep She's that up. I'm gonna tell so Young you don't love him. <laughs> he wouldn't believe you anyway. He would believe me. Believe me. Mm hmm. She's still staring at Hugo. She's Hedge not breaking just, it. Hedge is just looking. The hell is going on? Well, apparently there is uh, blood all over the walls outside. And, uh, I, get, I got that part. I got that part. If you look at the old man, it doesn't look like there's that much blood lost. There's a scratch on the cheek. You see a little bit of blood on the sash, but it don't scream gallons. It don't scream blood. Blood talk, God activity. We can, ask, we can ask Gendu about that when he wakes up. I'm talking about you. And he points his finger at Ace. Are you just here to cause trouble for us? The testing bureau place you here? You say you're our cargo. How can we... How can we believe her? Brack behind Hedge. Yeah, Ace! How can we believe you? Oh my gosh. She could be trying she... to trick us. What if she's the partitioner? <laughs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? She, but like, when he said, like, you're part of the testing bureau, blah, 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 she literally gives him, like, this deadpan, like, no shiz, Sherlock. Like, type of look, where she's just like, yeah. Okay. She turns to Hedge and just like, yeah, the testing bureau put me here. I was trapped in a crystal. Wait, Who knows how long. This is a really important quit. So you turned away from Hugo? Yes, she broke the stair with Hugo to talk oh, to Hedge. Okay. Sorry, just making sure. Okay, cool. Hugo won! Only because she's fighting. There will be a rematch. She's. <laughs> it's one and one She just right kind of like... Yeah, yeah. to... Okay, sorry, but continue. You, so you talk about the crystal and all that. Okay. Yeah, she she basically yeah. was like, yeah, I, I was in a crystal for for this test. Of course, I was placed here. I, I get that. Are you working for them? Are you trying to sabotage us? No. If I would have, if I wanted to sabotage you, I would have let Brack go die with the partitioner. Then maybe you should trust us to handle this. It seems like at every opportunity you're trying to get in our way. I don't like that. Mm, so far, I haven't gotten in your way. In fact, I was the one that checked the room for the bomb for a way out when you just sat there wallowing. Right. I kept your leader from running out into a suicide mission. I also clasped Misuk's mouth when she started screaming. If uh, I wanted yeah. to sabotage you, I could have. Brock interjects, I mean, you did cover her mouth after she already screamed and the monster was already after you guys. So I'm just I will go saying. I'll go other shin, old man. Uh, you can go for it, but uh, I don't think you're going to hit it. I'm behind Hedge now. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm sorry for accusing you. And you're right, I acted shamefully. All I can do is get better and survive. Listen, I am nothing important. I was placed in this test because that was what I apparently need to do. But I'm not working for the Bureau. Heck, they're probably the top of my list right now of people I hate want to get out of. So, just you know, don't worry about it. She'll turn back to Hugo. And that didn't count. He just narrows his eyes at you. No smile, but you can tell he's a little smug. <laughs> Looks like uh, Brock, you made me lose. Ah, uh, it sucks to be you. All right, everyone. So she's gonna go for his other shin. She's gonna <laughs> literally go walk around hedge. <laughs> uh, roll, <laughs> roll athletics with disadvantage because you're trying to like go around hedge, and Brack roll athletics to dodge or acrobatics. So that's what you roll with disadvantage. Eight with disadvantage. Eight. Yes. Hold up. So... Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Actually, Sorry, nine with disadvantage. Nine. Okay. Nine with disadvantage. Good. Yes. Fourteen. Trip. So I hope you trip. <laughs> no, she doesn't trip. A one. <laughs> Hedge just kind of gets in the way, and he's like, "Wait, what? Are, what are you? What are you doing?" okay and she'll just stop and be like brock taps uh, hedge on the shoulder brock taps hedge on the shoulder that's a good shield very fine shield sturdy and you, 
You're, you're very blockable. Me? He's using you as a meat shield. I'm gonna say that a little bit of time has passed, and Genbu opens his, he opens his eyes, and we should get moving. I'll tell you what happened on the way. And Misuk is awake, and everyone's packing up. But then you hear something over the speaker. Hello, regulars. Welcome to day four of the test. The test has been shortened to six days instead of four, instead of seven. Not four. And everyone's like, what? I repeat, the, text, the test is now six days instead of seven. Also, enjoy a little treat later on in the cave. Today is a break for the people outside, and we'll give you a little bit of a rest as well. And then, the speaker cuts out. It, did he say treat? Like, what kind of treat? Is it sweets? Food, please. I'm so is hungry. It, is it strawberry water? Is it fruit? Maybe some protein? Ace is just gonna go up to Genbu. Could use some protein. Hello, Ace. How are you? Hello, Genbu. Oh, you know. Cargo. Right. Let's How are moving. you? I can tell you on the way, but we should really be off, don't you think? Genbu. Genbu. Yes. Are you going to tell us? Of course. I'll tell you what I know about the creature. And what happened. And you're starting to walk. The creature is not dead. It is still alive. That creature first appeared inside this labyrinth many years ago, but it was small, a child. It was completely blind. Me and my old friends, we simply called it the Listener, but there may be other names for it nowadays. But no matter what we did to it, even when it was younger, we couldn't kill it. I suspect that only a ranker could accomplish that task. However, we could impair it and damage it. And that is what we did to the best of our ability. It took me hours last night. But I did manage to wound the creature. But, and he kind of unravels his, uh, his robe. And to your surprise, he's... Pure muscle. I mean, he's jacked for an old man. <laughs> Master <laughs> Roshi in the flesh. All right, cool, cool. And he uh, shows his side, and there's a big gash, much deeper than the one on his face. And there's a, his barrier has appeared over it. I'm stopping mm. the bleeding until we can le leave the cave. But I also, in turn, damaged the creature. We all hear this, right? Yes. Brock looks over at Ace. Mm-hmm. What, what was that? Couldn't tell where the blood came off. from, huh? She what? Why, 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 why are you doing that? Like Flips him off. Okay. Doesn't say anything. She just flips him off over her shoulder and keeps walking. See, this is what I mean. You're doing nothing but causing trouble. You were doing just fine before you showed up. It's Turned okay. slowly to hedge. Did this cause you trouble? Are you that emotion? Are you that sensitive to where that inconvenienced you versus the dying in the tower? Brack is our leader. We are a team now. Until we leave this cave, we are one. I, I appreciate you all sticking now for me, <laughs> but I, I, I can handle pint size over here. Now, um, young ace, you did say that the blood that you found and that the blood that you saw on our dear young man here didn't seem to match up, right? He just kind of stares at Brack. Now, I'm not pointing fingers. Brack would never do that. Brack is an honorable man. He, he does not cause trouble. He does not point fingers. And most importantly, he does not call anyone a liar. But 
My dear young ace, I think you may have misjudged our young man. Could you please politely apologize to him? No. No? I but was you... trying to help you. Help? I didn't have to say anything about the blood. I was trying to give some sort of solution or some sort of details. I was genuinely trying to help you. But when you're wrong, you say, sorry, my bad. Right, Hedge? Who says that I was Keep wrong? Keep me out of this, says Hedge. Right, Hedge. Now, you say sorry when you're, well, as we could see, you know, exhibit A. Uh, young man, if you would please open up your robe again. I'd really rather not. I mean, you have a magnificent physique. I would just, you know, love I'm, to study it a little I'm, bit more, you know, for this, I'm this particular Ace case. You. Okay. <laughs> you look, you, by the time you look back from Genbuis is way ahead of you. Ah. He is seriously the antithesis of Little Young. This is amazing. I'm going to say you're continuing in the cave. We're going to take our break here in a minute. But before we do, it's morning for the people on the outside. And uh, you were told the previous day to meet up in the ring at 8 a.m. So that the rankers can take you outside. So I'm assuming you all get ready and do so. But as you gather in the center, Mr. Glue is there. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to mention. Not all of you are going to the village. Sorry. I need one person from each team to act as the merchant for today. Merchant. Why? Merchant. I... Wait, is this part of the test? Probably. Very simple. I'm going to allow you, each merchant, to visit your teammate, your hero in the cave. Just for a little while today. They deserve a break just as much as you do, I guess, before the entertainment and the final couple of days. But this does Mr. mean that the merchant will not be able to go to Roku Village. I'll go, Mr. Leaf says. Mr. Mr. Glue, I have a question. Wait. Leaf kind of slowly puts down her hand. No, 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 Leaf, you can go. Don't, don't. I just I just want to make sure of something. So seems like there's a trend here. If somebody's the merchant today, that means they are ineligible to be any other role going forward, right? That's right. So the engineer and the keeper cannot be the merchant. For all of you are going to have roles ah, on the final test. I wouldn't test. be the merchant! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, turn, I turn to leave. You sure you want to go? I need to see Lyria. So I can tell Young about her. Yeah, great. But you're going to check on Brack too, uh, right? Of course, yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm. I want to see how Brack is doing, but I, I want to see. I want to make sure Sil Young knows she's okay. I just kind of like squeeze the back of her neck. You don't gotta explain yourself to me. However, whatever reason you're going in there, I support you. Just be careful. Thanks, thanks, but I, I maybe I spoke too soon. Eden, maybe you would want to go. Actually, Eden, do you want to go? If Leaf has her heart set on it, she has a better connection with Cillian right now, so that makes sense. That's not really true. You what is this more than you any say about a connection with Cillian? No, uh, no, no, I just, I talk to him sometimes, that's it. What do you mean you talk to him sometimes? You know this, I... we, we've texted a little bit, it's no big deal. Um, it's whatever, that doesn't, that's not the point. My point is, I need to tell him about Lyria, but Eden, you could do the same thing. No, I, I have a, I have something to say. I was actually going to invite Eden out, if you're willing to go. She gives him like the most strange look. Not in that way. To what? God damn it! You know what I do. <laughs> I just wanted to spend the day with you as a friend. Okay, just. Why? He kind of raises an eyebrow. Uh, why can't you know what? I really resent this idea that you guys have of me. Okay, we're gonna have to. You established the idea. I wonder why we think that. Damien has his hand over his mouth. Guys, can we make a decision that doesn't spawn into a ninety-minute debate, please? I vote for leave to go. 
now I. F she looks up at you, Eden, and she looks a little bit like. Just passes how Blue said. Go on. They might need a healer. Reese Felker. You can do that, and I can. Reese Felker, sneak, sneak aboard. <laughs> Reese Felker jumps into Lee's pocket. Ah, excellent. Oh, and she pulls out the rest of the, like, the rest of the stash of, like, food that she had. Take that to him, too. Oh, okay. Thanks. You sure? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll go. Thanks, guys. I'll be back. Enjoy your time in Roku Village. I'll see you at six, I guess. You yeah, guys have time. a fun time, too. Leaf uh, runs into the runs toward Mr. Glue. So it's Leaf from Team Recall, Crystal from Team Love, Corbin from Team Journey, Folk from Team Loud and Proud, and Venomoss from Team Conqueror. They all uh, head over. Mr. Glue kind of just nods and uh, hold on, I forget these. I forget these. Hold on, this is. Uh, he motions to the other two rankers that were guiding you at first before Mr. <clears throat> Glue shows up, um, and he's just like, take them outside. And the two rankers gather you all up and um, lead you through the testing bureau building out into Rogu Village. The town is pretty, um, pretty chill. Like it's still early morning, so there's not many people who are out and about. But as you leave the building, someone starts waving to you and says, "Hi!" And you're surprised to hear this voice. But we're gonna take our break before oh. we find out. So enjoy the memes, enjoy the fan arts, oh, and uh, no. we'll be back. I'm betting you anything I am is surprised. <laughs> oh my god. Surprise Pikachu fan. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see 100%. you in a few Pikachu. minutes. Enjoy, enjoy the memes in the art. Bye bye. Bye.
You can't keep getting away with it! You can't keep getting away with it! Not my friends anymore. from Sally, age 14. <clears throat> Dear Pig, aren't you interrupting the story at the most suspenseful part? Well, the answer is yes, Sally. Yes, I am. Keep those cards and letters coming.
Welcome back, everybody, to Towers and Gods. Thank you so much for all the incredible memes and fan art, as always. On top of it, I gotta give you all some credit, because we're laughing all the way through. Very well done. Uh, if you have more memes and fan art, put them in the Discord. The link is down below. We love to see it. And, uh, yeah. Discord's a fun place to be. It's been very active lately, so this is the best time to join, I would say. Uh, if you're enjoying the episode, don't forget to leave a like. And I think with that said, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue. So, uh, yeah, okay. You all are on the outside. Leaf is not with you, but the other five of you are there. And, uh... Someone is waving at you, apparently waiting for you to leave the testing bureau as if they knew you would be leaving it. Hi! Oh my gosh, it's good to see you guys! You I see knew Janice. I called it! I see it! <laughs> in front of you. Oh no! Waiting I frantically. It, I knew it. You see her uh, her dog next to her barking at you. It's okay, it's okay, It's fr they're friends! It's, fr it's been a while, it's good to see you all. And the regulars are all just looking at the dog. Still a little shit, aren't you? <laughs> the dog doesn't bark at you, but just looks up at you. He looks like a good dog. I uh, reach my hand over to pet the dog. Don't do it, Damien. Roll animal don't handling. Actually, no. <laughs> Very slowly. Uh, don't roll animal handling. Um, the dog just looks up at you and just starts growling. I, I slowly move my hand back. <laughs> You're I, right. I put my hand on Damien's shoulder. Look, man, I used to think that animals loved me until this little thing proved me wrong. Don't I'm convinced mind. he's not an animal. Don't don't mind um Carmel. He's a good boy, aren't you, Carmel? Aww. You're such a good boy. Janice, why does it sound like you just came up with that name just now? <laughs> <laughs> I came here to see you all. And we're gonna have a little talk, if that's okay. I know you're in the middle of a test, but- Eden has her hood up and she's walking the other direction. She's Actually, like, nope. I, I, it's probably best if you were here too. She points at you. Doesn't stop. <laughs> uh, Janice, as much as I am happy to see you, I okay. actually want to talk to Eden, so I'm gonna go too. But Wait, no, fun. this is, this is, I, I promise you, this is actually important. Uh, great, but that's okay. You tell my, my friends here and they'll tell me later. Wait, don't shove me off to- oh, uh. Yeah, I actually- I also have to go do a thing. No, 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 no. Why? If we- if I'm Victor. staying, you're staying too, Jung! Victor! Yeah, yeah. Victor. Yeah, I do. Uh, you if know, you're but- the Coon family. But I actually, you know, you know I want to go visit the hot spring. I heard it's really good this time of year, so catch you guys later, okay? I stole my Yeah, I'm gonna go with him too. to the hot spring. That's- What, Janice? Idea. You have my number if you need us. We'll catch you later. Okay. And we, I guess we all just disperse. The dog is growling really loudly and barking now. It, no, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm still um, later, then. Wait, did she ignore me? She turns to you. Oh, no, no offense, but you're not actually the one I wanted to talk to. Oh, thank God. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I'm real boring. I don't have anything going on. <laughs> <laughs> not that you're boring, but... Can you get your friends to come back, please? This is actually important. They, I'm trying to help them out here. Help them out? See, I got a promotion at Tower News, and honestly, it's all thanks to you guys. I really appreciate it. But because of that, I actually have some inside info that they might want to hear. It relates to uh, some upcoming things, but Oh, maybe you don't well. want to hear it. That's okay. Yeah, maybe I'll just leave. It's fine. I, um, I, but I, tell I, Damien, tell Damien. No, it's okay. Uh, I thought they'd want to hear and maybe get a little bit of that inside scoop, but, you know, me and uh, Carmel, uh, you know, we're still regulars. We could go exploring for a little while, right, buddy? I, I mean, you can you can tell me. I mean, I, I didn't have enough foresight to run away at first glance, but, I mean, since I'm here... She's kind of adjusting her glasses. Damien Frost. You are kind of interesting. Would you mind an interview? Could I interview you? And then maybe you can get your friends to come back. I really think you're trying to use me to get to my friends. And no, I don't no, really no, 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 no. She kind of lowers her voice. Fine, fine, I'll tell you. Let's just meet up at um uh, somewhere where we can't be seen. The pavilion? Meet up at, have a seat. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Okay. I'll move you to Roku Village here. 
The shrine, I should say. All right, let's meet at the shrine. Whew. She walks over there to the shrine with you. Okay, well, the inside scoop that I have is, uh, uh, some of you are in the top 10 E-rank regulars, and it hasn't exactly been public yet, but I wanted to warn you ahead of time, because it's kind of a big deal. Oh, and how many people know about this? Uh, just the higher-ups at Tower News. Oh. Well, um... But because of you guys, I got my promotion, so I kind of wanted to return the favor. Oh, well. Much appreciated. You're I'm, not in the top I'm, 10, but well, maybe... If you were to get some of your friends. <laughs> <That's a relief. laughs> but some of your friends are, so um, I kind of wanted to talk to them about it and just warn um, them. But I guess I could just tell you and then I could go leave and then you could tell them when you get a chance. Uh, sure, yeah. I mean, you know, if you got things to do, that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to tell you all the top 10. Is that fine? Uh, sure, yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Number 10. A guy named Dungoon. Sorry, Dungoon? Dungoon. Like, Dung? Goon? <laughs> Not exactly, but, uh, sure. <laughs> Dungoon is apparently... Dungoon really really quick for his size oh no yeah number yeah. nine is he... Kuhn Victor oh well apparently women from all around the tower claim that he's some kind of hero but some others say that he's also one of the weakest of the ten, of the ten. Mm, yes that <laughs> widely debated uh, fact of the tower Milios unmute, I need to know what you're saying, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Milios unmute! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> no, Discord, why? This is the... Why, Discord? Discord, what did I ever do to you? <laughs> so powerful! <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm sorry about all the ghosts laughing right now. It was so really, effective. I'm really sorry. Oh my god. Oh man, I hit a road all. That's crazy! <laughs> oh. I can't. I can't. Oh. 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 Come on, bro. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, man. I don't even go oh. here, and that was. Oh my you God. can't just hit me from the side like that, bro. You gotta give me a heads up. <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh. I have a feeling this shrine might be haunted. Oh, I could sense Sorry. the ghosts laughing all Probably around after Marco. hearing that. I wish Victor would have stayed for that. <laughs> shall, shall I continue? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This next person on the list is actually one of the reasons I came, because I know this friend of yours doesn't exactly like public attention. Number eight is Eden. Oh. Yeah, apparently she's a bloodthirsty warrior. And she's so skilled that some of the great families have even taken interest in her. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure that description somewhat fits the bill. Really? Huh? Okay. I, I, I didn't say anything. Okay. Number seven is Ari Boris. Oh. Ari Boris is a handsome member of the Ari family who apparently wields his greatsword with one hand. Wow, yeah. I guess I must be getting better then. Yeah, he apparently also has this secret ability. Very mysterious. Number six is Jerry's. Even though he has four arms and four weapons, he's only ever been seen using two during his entire climb. So, he's a bit of a big deal. What's weird is that number five is Nameless. Literally, that's the name he goes by. 
He's there's literally nothing known about this person, and honestly, <laughs> I have no idea why he's in the top ten. But who knows? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Number four is Kesaki Wu, the champion of the Linquist of this 20th floor, and the one who apparently single-handedly took down the entire family. Some say he's even the current head of the family. That's Cap, but I got the throne, though. <laughs> <laughs> Number three is Fawn Von Sycamore, the most beautiful regular of all the regulars in e -Rank. <sighs> Let's see. Number two is a regular named Happy Smile. She's not seen very often, but whenever she is seen, uh, people usually don't survive. Don't Smile why. really made the list. That's crazy. <laughs> and that is, uh, yeah. the number one regular, someone named Roses Have Thorns. They go by different names and some say even different faces. So that's kind of all I know. Oh, wow. Yeah. I wanted very to make sure cool. you guys knew that as a kind of thanks because really my job is pretty sweet now so oh that'll be good to know that ahead of time i'll be sure to remember the uh the uh hang on let me uh, what was the order again let me just write that down real quick uh sure sure yeah, number 10 we what? have dungoon um, <laughs> yeah Kunvika, i've got number it number nine there we go you you know it <laughs> but i guess i should get going then uh be sure to say hi to anyone else who I didn't see, all right? Uh, yeah, yeah, totally, yep. All it's right, good you take care. You, uh, yeah, Janice, Janice, yeah. That's you my name. Care. Have a good, have a good rest of your, uh, All right. Oh, bye. there was one more thing, actually. I totally oh. almost forgot about this. Uh, okay. have you ever heard of the workshop? Um, yes, 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 yeah, I have. Yeah, 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 kind of a big deal. Um. They're apparently hosting this thing on the 30th floor in like a year. Mm-hmm. And apparently it's something they've never done before. So you'll probably want to be there. Very familiar with what was going on for the 30th floor. I'm gonna meet someone there myself. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow, but, um... you're full of surprise. Oh, I want to interview you so bad, but I know you're in the middle of a test. I'll hold back. It's really not that crazy of a story. It's just I'm meeting a friend. Oh, cool. Well, come on, Carmel. We'll see you later, okay? Bye. Good doggy. She zips away, but Carmel stays behind and just looks at you. And you swear this dog is narrowing its eyes. I slowly move my hand towards the dog. <laughs> just growls. I slowly move my hand away from the dog. <laughs> and then the, the dog slowly turns and pads after Janice. Maybe one day. Oh, I completely forgot what I wanted to do now. You can cut to someone else now. Okay, sorry, sorry. I was uh, figuring out the music. Okay. So it is the morning of the fourth day. Eden, where'd you head? Uh, Eden is heading away from that mess. Okay. She didn't really have a a, a destination in mind, but she sure. is going to head towards the waterfall. The waterfall. Okay. So I'm you leave say I'm you following leave. her, by the way. Do you want her to notice that you're following her? Uh, I don't really care. I'm not like trying to conceal my presence. I probably wouldn't say anything until she stops moving, though. Okay, so Eden, you noticed that Wu is following you, behind you. What do you want? Where are you going? I'm gonna go look at the sites. What do you need? I was just wondering if I could come along. I haven't talked to you lately. Anything you want to talk about? Mm, well, that's what I was gonna ask you, but for now, Looks like you're headed in the direction of the waterfall. I can promise you, it's a nice waterfall. Yeah, apparently it's got some special properties. Mm-hmm. After I took a dip, I mean, um, after I took a look at it the other night, I felt very refreshed. Mm-hmm. 
Did you cause another natural disaster over here that we need to know about? Eh, well, it seems like the people of Roku are pretty superstitious, so who knows, maybe I did soil their precious waterfall, but eh. Oh, really? Look, if they knew about it, they would have brought it to our attention by now. And I was gonna swim. Never mind. This was days ago, I'm sure it's all good. Mm-hmm. Anyway, how have you been holding up? I'm fine. Are you? Because it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> I appreciate the concern, but it's just... Not something I can help with, is what Probably you're trying not. to say. <laughs> Probably not. Fair enough. Well... I just want you to know that I'm around, you know? Not everything has to be on your shoulders all the time. <laughs> if only it were that easy. Nothing's easy. But... That's for sure. You know better than anybody that having people to rely on is best. I just wish you'd open up more. <laughs> when you're the one who's relied on a lot, you have trouble opening up. Well, you're not the leader anymore. Even though I know you bear that weight on your shoulders regardless. So, it would make things a lot more efficient if you just did it anyway. But I'm not here to say that. What I am here to say is... You are whatever I can it. do... True, I did just say it. Yes, but, you did. that's not the point of the conversation. The point of the conversation sure. is, whatever I can do to help, I'm here. I appreciate it. So, starting with uh, working out this situation with Victor, we might be able to get somewhere. What situation with Victor? Come on. You guys try to act like everything's good. It's clearly not good. None of us know what happened to this day. <sighs> well, it's just over with. We're teammates. We move on, we function. This has been sorted out for like two years now. Yeah, we're teammates, we move on. That's how life works. People do things. Mm -hmm. I just want to know how you feel now and how you felt then. And it's not like you owe me anything, but I'm genuinely asking for you to be honest. When have I not been honest? You know that honesty is not just telling the truth when it's asked for you, right? goes deeper than that. It's about talking about the things that you'd rather not talk about. That's not honesty, that's openness. Eh, honesty, openness, same thing. No, it's... No, it's not. The two, the two words have two totally different definitions. And you're exhausting your energy arguing me about an arbitrary point. Why? No, you could it's just not answer the question. That's not arbitrary. You have to be careful with your words. I know. I thought you'd fall for that one. Oh well. So are you gonna tell me or not? Tell you what? How you're really feeling. I'm fine. Alright. Well, when the time comes for you to admit that you're not fine, I'll be here to listen. <laughs> well, I don't think there ever would be a time for that. But good looking out. Mm -hmm. Well, there Plus, might be a time you've got, for you've... me, so I might hey. need you then. Sorry to put more on your plate. Hey, I've been there since the second floor for all of you, so. And we can be there for you if you just let us. That would probably get a lot of you killed. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that to you. I laugh in the face of danger. Yes, I know you laugh in the face of danger, and then I have to clean up your mess. Mm, Should take know. things a Looked little Looked like you were getting things. choked out earlier, and I came and helped you out, so, you know? Oh, well, I'll leave you up to whatever it is you gotta do, but just remember what I said, alright? Sure. 
and uh, the waterfall is real nice. I highly recommend you take a dip in the waterfall. But that's it. Uh, not after you've been in it. I'm hurt. Why? I'm joking. Bye bye. Just rolls her eyes. Okay. John, where are you at? You're muted. You're muted. My bad. Um, I followed Victor wherever he went. Victor said he was heading to the hot springs, but ended up actually going into Hero Hill. Oh, so he's a liar is what you're telling me. <laughs> okay, let's calm. <laughs> let's calm down, okay? It's been 30 seconds. Chill. Um, he heads into Hero Hill, and uh, there's a couple, a lot of the regulars are actually heading in here, like a majority of them. Team Conqueror is heading inside, a couple members of Team Journey. Um, there's only one member of Team Love, because they only had two, and one of them is now the merchant. And, um... They're already ordering drinks and stuff and massaging their shoulders. The ones that are able to, uh, the ones that are well enough to do so. And uh, Victor walks over and sits down by himself at one of the benches and just looks over at the chefs. Victor, what are you doing? Oh, hey, take a seat. Just learning the craft, you know? You know, if you wanted to learn to cook shouldn't you go ask the cooks that's kind of a good idea you think they'd take me as their apprentice uh, regular I think in the prefer, middle of the test i think they prefer that over you creepily staring at them from a distance oh come on come on hey you developed that uh they're working on that lightning shinsu dual technique we were talking about well actually that's mostly what i came here to talk to you about okay let's hear it so, I like the idea, but I think, in order for it to work, we're going to need to really buckle down with training. Yeesh, okay. I mean it. No lazing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we'll get to it this day and not the next day. You saw that fence, right? I, when it comes down to it, I can work hard. Alright? Oh, I'll train, I'll train. Yeah, the fence. Alright. Anyway... So, I'll see you later today. Well, today's a rest day. Preparing for the big test tomorrow. That's going to take place over two days. I feel like... Young just like, looks at Victor like, why does that matter? <laughs> we're going to get sore and, you know, we should be at our best condition tomorrow. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. So, I'll see you today. No, maybe I'll uh, learn to do some cooking today. Actually, um... Victor, are you serious about this or not? How did Eden seem to you? What? How did Eden seem to you? She seemed... Fine. Alive. Mm -hmm. Yes. What does that yeah, mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude. You've really gone off the deep end, huh? If you can't see it. Wondering you if I should talk to her. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. She might appreciate it. I feel like there's a lot. Never mind. Why am I talking to my little bro about this? I'm not your little bro. Little brother. Is that better? No, actually, it's not. It's much, much worse. Okay, okay. Well, I am bigger than you, so, you know. Mm. And older, I think, so, you know. Mm. I don't know if that's something I'd brag about if I were you. Thanks, Jong. Good talk. Slaps the table a couple times and gets up and leaves Hero Hill. God, he's annoying. Hey! One of the people at the bar, one of the regulars looks over. You on Team Recall? Who's asking? Team Conqueror, over here. You know, your friend really messed up our guys. You know that? Well, from what I heard, they're all still alive, so you should be thankful. And Bug, you, you recognize Bug. He's like, guys, stop, stop. 
You know, you should really be careful. Because we've got more regulars than you. In fact, it might be a good idea for us to team up. Make sure that, uh... Here's the thing. You've got a lot of teammates. We've got a lot of teammates. You've got the skill. We've got the skill. These other teams, what, team lovers with two regulars? Come on. It'd be so easy for us to wipe the floor with this test. Instead of you teaming up with them, team up with us, and your chances of success will skyrocket. Because otherwise, there might be a problem. Oh, a problem? Yeah. Now, what kind of problem might we have if we don't team up with you? Uh, one of the other members looks over. Uh, he's, um, starts whispering. No problem. No problem. Oh, no, no. Please, I'd love to know the problem. You were going on and on about how you guys are the best team to team up with, and not teaming up with you could cause some dire consequences for us. I'm curious. It's, no, we'll we'll talk more tomorrow. No, no, no. Actually, let's talk now. No, John really, gets up it's... and starts walking over to him. Hey, 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 hey. I was just talking. What you were so doing, I've been drinking a little, sir, is wasting my time with your flagrant and vague compliments about how your team is the greatest thing that there's ever been. Here are the facts. Your team isn't worth anything. The fact that you guys are even on this floor and haven't already been killed is by the grace of somebody else's luck that is nicer to you than I would ever bother being. So no, I don't want to team up with you, and I don't think my team would waste their times with good-for-nothing bugs like you. Do I make myself clear? Am I clear? Yes. Yes. All right. Next time, pick your fights better. John goes to for the exit. All right. Sounds good. Eden, afterward, did you want to do it? After you had your conversation with Wu, what did you choose to do? She did end up deciding to swim for a little bit, but she's back out now. Okay, sure, sure. Sounds good. We're going to um, cut to the labyrinth. Now, for the sake of time, uh, this the, the labyrinth journey for you in day four, a lot of twists and turns. At this point, I would say... Day four, it's finally settling in, like this sense of unendingness. The same walls, the same cold feeling, the same floors. Some of the rooms look the same, some completely brand new. Some of the hallways branch off into three paths, but then you decide it's, it doesn't matter because they all lead to the same room. It's, it's just, Misuk is starting to look more, a little more and a little more on edge. That serene nature that she had when you first started is slowly fading away. She's looking around nervously. Hugo and Genbu seem to be overall unfazed, but even Hugo, occasionally his eyes are darting around. Hedge has a look of determination on his face. And Taki is just like walking along. Seems like he has a lot of energy, but he doesn't seem to know how to expend it. And you're just walking down the tunnel. All right, guys. Looks like we're pretty much in a predicament of a... I believe they called it a endless loop. I don't know how we're going to get out of this, but I take it they're waiting for something big to happen up top. We got to remain vigilant. Yeah, we got to remain strong. Who just yawned? I didn't yawn. Who was that? But we gotta remain on guard. All right. Yeah, says Taki. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta stay strong. I gotta stay strong for my team. But he's the only one who responds. Everyone else is silent. Big H, you doing okay? He looks over at you and nods. All right, good, good. What about you, Hedge? Doing fine? Gotta get out of this cave. Gotta get out. We'll get out, Hedge. Just 
Calm down. Remember, do the breathing techniques. Remember the techniques. Okay. Are we sure this is day four? Yes. What if time is different in this cave? What if this is day two? What if we just started our climb? What if that thing isn't even the partitioner and there's something deadly waiting for us? What if we never get out? God, I'm well, in my own head. Exactly. You're in your own head. Don't worry about it. Things will come to pass. This is just a speed bump in to, toward our destination. I can't even talk right anymore. God dang it. <laughs> Priestess. You're not praying, so are you okay? I'm fine. All right. Just remember, what would your god do? Keep that in mind. <clears throat> Brack. Huh? Is Shinsu your god? Yes, in a sense. Do you pray it to it? Yes. Has it listened? In some cases it listened, in some cases it doesn't. But what's really important is that I act. I can pray all I want to, but without action, those things won't come to fruition. So when you're praying, just keep in mind that you still have to act. The prayer is just to let the God know to show you the course. Okay? All right. No problem. That's what uh, Double B is for. Jim Stiller, where are you? Ace, where are you? Uh, she's slightly behind Hugo. Okay. Do you respond to Brack's call? No. Okay. I'm sorry, Ace. Betrothed of young, little young. Please answer me. God dang it, we're in this together. Why are you being like this? She just turns to Brack. Stop saying that. The betrothed is still young. It's not true. Stop saying it. I will if I will, but for a compromise. She just gives him a look like. Oh, cargo, my cargo. For a compromise. What do you want, old man? All right. I don't really want anything. I just wanted you to answer me. I went. All right, everyone. Remember, keep a calm and cool head. We'll get out of this. You know, says Genbu, and he stops. This might be a good time to say this. It seems that this labyrinth journey is even more difficult than some of the other ones I've been on. I've been on labyrinth journeys where unending hordes of monsters attack us, but that doesn't seem to be the case this time. Everyone, this is something you should know. Everyone kind of stops and turns towards him. This is something I learned from all my years taking this test. Because we are the heroes, we hold a special privilege that the regulars on the outside do not have. We can quit the test. If one of us decides to quit, they will let us go, the one who decided. You would be leaving the rest of the heroes behind. However, you and your team would be able to escape the clutches of this test. I found it out when a delirious, regular comrade of mine was shouting out anything to escape this cave, and sure enough, they seemed to listen. This tower is filled with unending, ceaseless, and pointless bloodshed. No one would blame you if you chose to leave now. 
least of all me. And he looks around at all of you. You can save yourself. Brock walks up to uh, Gimbu. Young man. If we quit now, then the sacrifices that was made outside of this little cavern that we've been so cozily camped up in would have been for nothing. Our little rabbit here has lost friends while taking this test. Who knows the casualties that everyone else's team has suffered? If you quit now, you're pretty much putting a stain on their lives, their sacrifices for not. Then he turned to Ace, winks at her. You see, if you quit now, how can you turn towards your team? There's one more thing I should remind you about. There may very well, in fact, there always has been a point in this test when he looks around. We're forced to turn on each other. I don't know if that will help change your mind or not, but something you should know nonetheless. Because 50% of this test is about cooperation between teams, but 50% is about competition between teams. And now that we're on only six days, I fear that something terrible may happen soon. Young man, do you believe that the competition will be within the cave between teams as well, or will it stay outside? There have been points when I've been forced to kill my former teammates, my former heroes, and they've tried to kill me. I hope it's not the case, but it very well may be. I don't think we will have to unless we want to if we're forced to there's always ways to get around the system yeah we just need to find the loophole yeah come on we're not gonna let each other die like that Gembu. Has there ever been other people like me? Yes. Rarely. They use humans as the cargo, which is why I knew who you were when we saw you. But it's quite rare, as only special circumstances can allow the testing bureau to use live humans as a part of their test. Yeah. Usually criminals. <laughs> yeah, I knew that much. Damn, she's a criminal. Maybe that's why she took my jewel. Oh my now, God. if only I can get them to turn on her, get my jewel back. Oh my. Ace is literally just deadpanning Brack. <laughs> okay. You can't hear Brack. Brack is muttering to himself out loud. Over. <laughs> he definitely said that. Ace Let's... just kind of looks resigned. Let's continue then, shall we? All right. Everyone look alive. Anyone thirsty? No one responds. All right, good, because I wasn't giving you anything anyway. All right, let's go. Give me a sec. Um, okay, so you continue down the cave, right? Yeah, we keep moving down the cave. Ace right, is going to trail roll behind. Roll 20. Oh, Sounds that was good. In okay. Roku Village. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're continuing down the cave. I'll, I'll be changing something here soon. Okay. You eventually reach a point. It's not like a triple path. 
like you would have uh, seen before. It's not a um, not a big room that you've been in before. It just, you walk forward, the walls start to fall away, so it's just that emptiness around you, like you're on a floating island in the dark, and then mm -hmm. it splits right and left. So, right, well, uh, young ace, would, would you be so kind as to send your lovely queen observer to the right? Please. He'll get out of the observer. Mm -hmm. Look at Breck. I'm only doing this for so young. And she'll send it down. Okay, make that observer check. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is for right and left, I'll say. Okay. 17? In the good rules. I'll send it to you. The yeah. day has been a good day for the red fate of dice. Mm -hmm. There you go. Put it in our chat. <laughs> oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Got you. So you just. <laughs> well. Seems to be a waterfall. Which way? No matter which way. Both ways. And she just slowly turns her head to Hugo. He narrows his eyes. He's not like glaring at you, but just as in he's like realizing. Hugo and I have been there before. Hey, hey. Oh, that big H, you've been there before? He nods and then points at Ace. Well, what did she do? <sighs> Sighs? Yeah, he sighs. Okay. All right. So I got you. If you get comfortable, I won't say anything. She just starts going to the right. Okay. I All guess right. I better follow her. Yeah, let's let's follow her. All right, everybody, let's let's move on to the right. Let's see what's over here. And Brack looks back at Big H, and he 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 says, "So, what did you all find there?" He looks at Ace. You want me to ask her? Come on, come on, Big H. Like, you, you see what's going on down here. You see how me and her interact. Like, you, you know. You know. <laughs> come on now. And I'm just, I'm just asking for just a little bit. Just whittle it if you have to. Before you even get a chance to get an answer, you're already there. <laughs> All right. And then Hugo so, taps you on the shoulder, and he points at the water, and he starts shaking his head, Breck. So, water no-no? Slowly shaking his head. Ah, <sighs> water no-no. Cool, cool. Ah, I was lying earlier. I'm really thirsty. You think it's safe? Uh... Uh... No. Because because we're cool now, Rabbit, I was going to tell you yes, but we're cool. I don't want you to get hurt. Aw. Gemba oh, says he's never seen this before. Oh, Can man. Can go by the, the waterfall part of it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Breck. Uh, I was going to say, old man, are you strong enough to create a barrier? I am. It may not be as strong as yesterday, but I can try. All right, that's cool. I just want you to create an umbrella at the middle section of that waterfall. I'm sure. And slowly the barrier starts to form and it ca it's catching the water. So the waterfall ceases to flow into the pool. Does Ace yep. see anything since she's over there? 
You see your own reflection clear as day. And that's it? Yep. And just emptiness all around you on this floating island. I don't like this. It is quite beautiful, though. Can she see the bottom? Yeah, it's it's kind of like... um. It's pretty shallow. Like, you could stand inside of this thing. Um, and it would probably go up to your knees. Hmm. Well, I lost to a door, you guys. So... I know you trust me, but I don't think you should trust me that well. I mean, a door beat me. So... Ace will put a foot in the water. Ace, no. You put oh, your clean. foot in the water, and it feels pretty normal. The water stirs. Put the other foot in. Yeah, just ripples from your from your feet. She'll just wait in it for a second and see if anything shifts. It's very tranquil. The water. It looks so pure, so pristine, and untouched, and you can almost hear it, like, it's almost like telling you to drink it. It's just, it looks like the most incredible water you've ever seen. Oh. Go get out. It's not necessarily a bad feeling, it's just like, this, this water, something about it. Go look at Hugo. He walks since forward. He was, Go ahead. Since he was the one. No, she was just saying, since he was the one who said it was like a no-no before. He looks around at everyone and then back at the water and then looks back at the exit slash entrance to this area. He reaches into his pocket, pulls out a wooden figurine. He looks at it. And then he puts it back. He gets on his knees. He takes a cup of water in his hands. He drinks it. <laughs> and he starts reacting, like clutching his chest. Engage. His eyes are wide. Super wide. Ace will go to his side. Come on, what's, there, what's wrong? And his eyes like flash white, like his eyes roll into the back of his head. <sighs> And after like 30 seconds, he starts breathing again. What was that? You okay? He looks at you, Ace, and then you see this look that you've never seen from him before. Like a look of sadness, like he recognizes you. That's I'm sorry. not... I'm sorry. Hey, 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 what's wrong? What, what are you sorry for? I'm sorry for telling them everything. The tears are streaming down his cheeks. She's gonna like center his face, like kind of like she used to do this sort of thing with Sil Young, just kind of a familiar. Hey, 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 it's okay. What's wrong? You notice him kind of realize where he is. He stands up. Don't drink that. And he talks. All right. Finally. Now you said don't drink that. What exactly did you see? Things I wanted to forget.
All right. All right. Things he wanted to forget. Ace is just staring at him, like, trying to discern if he actually recognized her or if it was just because of the water that it was someone else that he was picturing. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to tell with his uh, state. His state was not good in that moment. And even if you rolled insight, you probably wouldn't be able to know. Ace is going to look at the water and she's going to drink it. Don't, don't do it. Okay. She's gonna do it. Okay. If everyone else could mute. No. That would be great. Bro, you I, suck. Ace hasn't had a mute session yet. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, it's my turn to be traumatized. I don't have a screen for, for Ace, a single screen yet. Um, it's okay. So you drink the water, and it's a few seconds before suddenly you, you don't feel like what happened to Hugo is happening to you, but memories just start pouring into your mind. Your mind flashes white, and you just start seeing things. And it's as if you're looking at it from the outside, almost as if you're dreaming. You see a little boy with green hair tinkering with a little machine. And you see a little girl with pink hair, bandages kind of beat up, and they seem to be talking about something. And that to you is almost a good memory, and you seem to be happy for a moment. But then it flashes, and you're in the Linquist mansion. And you draw your needle, but Leaf Linquist knocks it out of your hand. And he smiles and smirks down at you before butlers start running up behind him and start tying your hands together you see yourself being shipped off you see yourself oh my gosh what a terrible time what a what a horrible time discord i have a bone to pick with you i'm not sorry cool i know Hor discord discord sucks discord not sucks. cool actually the worst get out of here picking discord ah. okay um you see yourself fix this you see yourself Yourself, you're looking at yourself, taking test after test after test, no one else around you, people in suits, their hands behind their back, just watching you struggle and struggle and struggle. And then you see a young girl on the streets, blood pouring out of her arm and you feel the pain once again, welling up inside of you and you just start screaming from the pain. Just screaming and screaming and screaming. Gotta have everyone unmute. Uh, let me make sure that they are noticing. I don't think they've seen it. I've seen it. Thank you, Hannah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, and when you finally come to, you're just like breathing heavily, just in and out, in and out. And the pain still seems to be there. And everyone's looking down at you. And um, someone has you by the shoulders, like holding you because you see you're, you're tr just thrashing about and they're holding you there. And you finally start to calm down and realize where you are. Ace will just kind of catch her breath, just... <sighs> She'll just grab her upper arm, the one that was hurting. Okay, you notice Hugo's the one that's holding you in place. She looks at him just... I'm fine. He's slowly... Slowly, let's go. So just... The waters, they... They... They, they play back... Memories... Past. The only thing is... And she's just gripping her arm. I don't know what the hell it has to do with the present. I'm assuming bad memories? 
Not entirely. But for the most part. It seemed to be flashes of the past and some it, it was all it was all fact. It wasn't anything untrue. But and she just she'll slowly let go of the top part of her arm. I just I don't understand why we would need to do this for the test, or if it has anything to do with the test. I should look at Hugo. He still has How far did yours go back? How far did yours go back? Years ago. Years and years ago. And she's thinking of what he said about the last time he spoke and is piecing it together. So... Where does that leave us? Everyone kind of instinctively looks to you, Breck. All right. So, it seems like our team... Uh, yes, you're part of the team, Ace, even though you're cargo. It seems like you all, when you drank the water, you were given your memory, memories of a time past. So this water has some sort of property to give back memories, eh? Or to have one re-experience their memories, eh? Rabbit. It... Drink the water. What? Hold up. Hold up. I, I, I don't want to drink any water. <laughs> you said you one. were thirsty. Yeah, drink not anymore. I don't want to experience... That. Well... I don't have any it... bad memories, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe this is fine. You know? Well, Taki, Taki. Yeah. You don't have to drink you don't have to drink the water if you don't want to. It's it's just a replaying of of the past, but some things unless it's necessary for the test, which I am not sure about, you you don't have to drink it. And she just Fine. looks at Brack. I'll drink what it. What did I what did what did we say about the the free will? I'll drink it. Hmm. Brock walks up. He take two big old handfuls of it. He looks back at everyone. He looks at the water, and he just. Okay, if everyone could mute, <laughs> everyone, including you, Ace, uh, while we. Uh, Gosh dang this. it! <laughs> bye bye. Stop drinking the water. <laughs> You have to. I think it's for the test. <laughs> well, Brack thinks it's for the test. <laughs> okay, okay. So you start to lose sight of your you start to lose your surroundings almost as if you are becoming numb to it all. And this is interesting to you because you almost remember this feeling. It's the same fate, icier feeling you get when you would interact with Fluxfalk or when you saw those visions over and over again. Almost like a nice feeling, like everything is right. But then you see something you'd never seen before. It's as if you're motionless, unable to move, and you're staring up in this dark room. And you see this shadow. You can't see who it is. It's as if they're completely shadowed, like a silhouette. It's all blurry, and they slowly walk up to you, and the figure is looking down at you. Hello, my son. And then, just like that, you instantly see your surroundings. Okay. Are you, are you okay? 
Rack. You seem to be fine. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> one, one second. One, that water is nasty. Two, um, felt this villain before. You felt it before? Yeah, there's a witch that did some voodoo stuff on us, and we've experienced things like this before. I don't want to get into the details. I'm tired now. But what I can say is this might be some sort of cleansing ritual to experience your past to go forward to your future. Now, now, hold up. Old Rock could be wrong. I've been wrong before down here. Don't take my word for it. Drink only if you want to. Ace is right. Only if you want to. But I think we should check out the other side first. It was another waterfall. It was the same place. Well, it might have changed now that we have drank from the water. Perhaps the waterfall simply wanted a little company. Perhaps the waterfall is the labyrinth itself. And the labyrinth wanted to show you all something. Up, Gambu. <laughs> I was waiting for you. Have you, have you drank from it, Gambu? I've never seen this before. And frankly, I don't believe I would like to drink from the water, based on your descriptions. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm good. Yeah, same. I agree. Hmm. Right, well. <sighs> <coughs> well, <clears throat> since no one else wants to drink, Let's just go ahead and go to the other room. Big H, you good? That water kind of packed a punch. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Nah, it's fine, man. Every once in a while, somebody shows their vulnerabilities. Just because, you know, yours were shown doesn't mean you're not strong. strong and then he gets up and is the first to leave ace will follow after him because she wants to ask him about more stuff okay okay rack rallies you know. together everybody else and tries yeah, 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 to yeah. go out so go ahead ace as you're walking oh shoot what did we lose Isaiah, no i happened to him earlier oh he's back hey uh, Can you turn your camera, Isaiah? Temporary. Thank you, there my we friend. Go. Let's go. Uh, she's just gonna. Your uh, your team. You lost them on the floor. Not my team. The the person you're carving. One of many. Hmm. So. Uh, never mind. Sorry. Should just walk, I guess, beside him. Not, not. Okay, this is some beat. I'm actually getting oh my God. This is this is annoying. This is I I'm getting a little fed up. This you no know, no. Little, You're I'm good. A little bit fed up. We're good. We're bit. good. We're good. Let it good. out in lore. Let it out in lore. Let it out in lore. It could be way worse. So you know, let's counter. Uh -huh. We're doing good. Uh -huh. We're doing good. Uh -huh. Continue. She's just gonna. She's just gonna act like she's gonna say something and then say no. No, never. Never mind. And then just kind of stay quietly uh, as they walk, I guess. Okay. The group is walking, and you eventually do see that the left path 
actually leads to a new room, a new hall. The waterfall isn't there. You're continuing down that path of just endless darkness. Everyone just really heavy from what just happened. Um, we're going to head to the outside. Um, I'm going to say it's getting to like afternoon at this point for everyone in Roku Village. And most of the regulars are just kind of having a good time. And uh, Team Loud and Proud is like inviting you to go come to a party in Hero Hill. They're talking to you specifically, Damien. Min is like, hey, 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 hey. We have this sick plan for a party. I think it'd be so sick if we celebrated before tomorrow because um, if I'm being honest, this might be our last party, you know? <laughs> Ah, so I am invited to the party, yes? Of course you are, of course. <laughs> Wonderful. I will invite all of my friends. Great. Uh, meet you in Hero Hill in like an hour? Yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. I snap my fingers. Lighthouses, locate friends. Okay. I'm going to say no No one's, like, hiding from you, so you're able to discern where they are. All friends now, lighthouses. You all get the phone call. Everyone except Leaf and Brack. Yo, yo, what's we, up, Damien? We have been... Wait, who said... Vic? Yo, 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 what? what when was that your greet? Now, anyways... We've been invited to a party. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. By Up who? Up on, on Hero Hill. By Team Loud and Proud. Wait, 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 wait. Loud and Proud is, po is sponsoring a party? They, just, they invited us to a party. It, so so it's on them. Like, they're... Say uh, no more. I don't what know. What time? But, uh, what time? In an hour. In an hour. Hero Hill in an hour. I'll be there. Wonderful. The offer is open to everyone. Who else is going to be there? Uh, Eden Hi. Jong. I'll think about it. I'm, uh, I'm not really the party type. I think I'll sit this one out, but you guys can go. All right. Well, I'll be there. See you soon, Damien. Yep, see you soon. I'm going to put on my best cape for this. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Okay, anyone else want to, um... Anyone else want... So, okay, who is doing something now that they would like to uh, get a little screen time here while I'm preparing something? I got something if nobody else has something. Okay. I mean, he's, he's just on the bank of the water. You're on the bank of the water. So, okay, okay. Go ahead, Wu. Uh, what's the uh, hot spring called again? Oh. Crimson Spring. Crimson Spring. Yeah. Uh, I'm there right now taking a bath. Mm -hmm. And I am uh, on the phone with Zushi. Oh, okay. Okay. Just by yourself. My are you ready to talk as Zushi, bro, or do you need time? Because I can just solo this conversation. You know, you know I think um, I think for now, you can do yeah, it. Yeah, I'll, let, let's, I'll solo the conversation. Let, let's just hear time. your your voice, though. Is that cool? Oh, of him? No, I'm not going to talk as him. No, I'll just I know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, you talking to him, we don't need yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'll paraphrase the conversation. I'll yeah, okay, it. sounds good. Go for it. Well, I got it. No thanks to you, you s twisted old man. How could you do that to me? You knew what it would be like. No! No, nobody... Yeah, yeah, I get it. You, you must feel so good about yourself. With all your wisdom and all your insights all the time. Yes, I get it. But the red boy thing was too much, and you know it too. As a matter of fact, need I remind you? No, you know, it's cool. Next time I see you, I'll be sure to remind you in person. Yeah, yeah, I won't abuse it. You know what? And stop talking to Leaf. 
by the way. She's starting to think you're somebody important. I don't like it. Alright, I love you too. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Then I stretch as I get out the bath that I haven't taken in like a week. Put on some new clothes and head out. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to say time is passing by. The the time for the party is arriving. Uh, it's getting on in the afternoon. Eden and Jong, during this time, you're still Eden, are you still at the bank of the waterfall? Uh for right now, yeah. Do we want to do you want to spend some time by yourself? Like mm. do you have anything to say or do? Only if somebody found her. I'm gonna say it's 20 minutes to the party. Hey. And like as he was, as he approached, like he would have heard her like softly singing by the water. You have a beautiful voice. Ugh. Oh, you scared me. Hi. What are you doing here? Mind if I sit down? Sure. Sits down next to you. Got something on your mind? Kind of. Oh, what do, what what besieges the mind of the great Kuhn Victor? Oh, many many an important thing. Mm -hmm. When you're as famous as I, there are many tasks on the mind. Oh, you're incorrigible. What, what, what's up? I wanted to say... Back then, on the 21st floor... Mm-hmm. I realized my mistake. I realized how dangerous it was for you to be with someone like me. I realized that you were right. We shouldn't have tried to go any deeper into our lives. We shouldn't have tried to deepen our relationship because something always told me you would never really because of me last and that's on me you would surprise me in that moment but it was a wake up call for me that You deserve something better. Because <sighs> the victor you all have laughed with and talked to and joked with during this entire climb, that's the real victor. And he looks at you. But I'm not the real victor. Deep down, I'm someone else entirely. Then why do you put on a front? The front is the real me. But it's a part of me that I know will eventually have to die. And I don't want you to be a part of that. You said that I was in danger because I figured out your secret. Mm-hmm. But in reality, it's the other way around. You deserve something better. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? I like to talk about my life as if it's some kind of... spectacular journey of a prince who lives with riches and was trained by kings and lived with the family who loved him. But it's more complicated than that. My entire life I've only ever made people miserable. And it was naive to think you could have been the exception. Let's say you're kind of wrong. You didn't make me miserable. Only that one time. <laughs> I would have. And he looks at you, and this is like the most serious you've ever seen him. He looks, just, he almost seems like a different person in a way. Just kind of grabs his hand and holds it. My worst mistake was thinking that, thinking I could change that part of me. But I think as much as I don't want to say it, I think we made the right move on that floor. I don't know if it was right or wrong. Just didn't work out right then. And I don't, in, our, <laughs> in that stupid, twisted way, I think we were both right and we were both very wrong. And you can change. And so can I. You're right. Just might not be the time right now or you know, maybe it's going to be with someone else for someone else, or maybe, maybe we're both too damaged to make a difference. But we don't know that. So when, you, hmm? when you look over at him, he just has this like dead look on his face. Again, just a look you've never seen in all your years of climbing with him, never seen before. Should have slightly caressed his face, try to like bring him out of it. Hey. I know. I know you don't like talking about anything. I've never seen you like this. So. If you do want to tell me something, anything, I'm always going to be here for you. I will tell you something. And he looks at you and his eyes get stronger. I can change. I'm going to get stronger. But I might still break your heart. But no matter what happens, I'll protect you. At first, I thought you were just another girl, but I think I've realized my whole life was a lie when it comes to that kind of thing. <laughs> and instead, if there's anyone that I'll protect. And then he goes back to that smirky smile. It's you. And now, now he hold, seems to be the other victor again. Now hold on, hold on. She like grabs his chin. Hmm? You you don't get to be Mr. Mopey Pants and then just switch back to this. This is the real victor. And mm -hmm. this is the victor that will cause you less harm can't guarantee that it won't but less 
I know it doesn't seem right. There's a lot that I can't tell you. Wish I could. Huh. Yeah, I wish there was a lot I could tell you too. But you've you figured out a big part of it. Well, give yourself some more credit. My heart is in a million pieces. Not because of you. Because of everything else. But you were the first person who started to put it back together. So don't beat up on yourself. Well, I'm honored. <laughs> you should be. I'm such a catch. That is true. <laughs> that is true. And you know... Mm -hmm. It's gonna be hard not to fall victim to your wiles, mm. your, your womanly charm while we're teammates, but Of know. course, of course. I'm just, you know, a cranky person who sits by herself and doesn't say anything and broods day after day and doesn't sleep for weeks on end. So yes, I'm such a catch. He just kind of looks at you and smiles. And then he, uh, he leans in to kiss you. <laughs> Just for a few seconds, and he slowly pulls away. Just kind of rests the head on his shoulder. <sighs> Things are so messed up. You made the right choice, though. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm at the, I'm at the break out, the. The super charm. <laughs> Look, you heard oh. me sing. I'm going to have to kill you for that. <laughs> that is pretty valuable blackmail that I could use next time uh -huh. it's karaoke. Speaking of which, there is a party, you know. Ugh, it's going to be with Team Loud and Proud. It's going to be so loud and obnoxious, and they're going to play that awful King music. Hey, it's hey, not hey even, now. It might be pretty good. You might it's just need not to give it a even, shot. It's not even music. It's just a guy screeching. He is With, fire. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's worth a shot. Victor, I was trained in very different music than that. Come on. Just let's have some fun before the big day tomorrow. Where, where Mr. Glue might decide to actually strangle the life out of me for talking out of turn and outsmarting him at his own game, and he just doesn't want to admit it. This last <laughs> test is probably going to be more complicated than that, but yeah. Let's it's gonna enjoy be... it before we get there. <laughs> Come on. I'll, I'll be up in a little bit. All right. I'll see you there. All right. Just kind of swats him on the leg as he walks away. Sure, sure. We're gonna cut to the party, which is a little tame, you know, a little bit let of a letdown probably for you, Woo. But they're they're offering food, they're offering drinks, you know, they're they're doing their best to uh, to pass everything around and free Instead drinks. Like what? A letdown? Free, food, free drinks? Like there's no, they're just in Hero Hill. Nah, nah, fun. nah. You underestimate the power of the party. Don't worry. We got. Okay. I got you. I got you. Fair enough, fair enough. What do you do to spice it up? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, Joe dropped, dropped again. I'm going to I'm gonna have to look <laughs> into this, bro. This is so weird. Some Discord's been like crazy. Discord's been wonky time. all day. Like, I had to reinstall Discord to even get on tonight. Right. So it might be it because was... of the pop out. I, I don't know. You're good. It's weird. It's weird. But, uh, okay. So what do you do? Uh, well, I was saying, who party. from our group is there? Is it just me? I uh, am. Damien, Damien went, right? And then Damien, I am there. Yes. And then, um, let me turn this up. Victor is uh, there. Too. Victor, Victor ends up showing up as well, yeah. All right, so it's me, Damien, and Victor. Uh, I kind of huddle up with them real quick. Huh? Whisper, huh? whisper, 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 whisper. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Are you guys good with uh that one dance routine? How come everyone isn't wearing capes? I can't believe what kind of party is this? 
and, nobody uh, bearing one but me. Maybe nobody else got the memo but you. It's and, supposed uh, to be a party, though. Everyone's supposed to bring their capes to the party. Now, is it a party? when you look at Damien, he's he is decked out with his uh, beautiful, beautiful cape. Um, you haven't seen him wear a cape in quite some time. Is this a new one, bro? I will see. <gasps> I saved oh, it for Syndicate oh, Pizza. You did it! Yeah. You did it! Oh, that's fire. It's yes. all no. oh, he is oh, it's on the ground. But nobody <laughs> else wore their cape, though. You should have led it with is that, on. bro. <laughs> Let me out of the cape. Let me out. I would have given everybody a cape if they wanted one, but nobody no, asked me for a cape. Uh, I got it right. <laughs> can't believe the audacity, and I'm not even there. Come on. Uh, I would like one human alcoholic drink, please. <laughs> And I whipped that up with, like, Expeditions Forever and hand it to him. Uh, mm -hmm. where did you get this? What, the drink or the cape? I got the drink no, from I, the bartender. Nobody had the, the cape, the cape. Oh, the cape, yeah. Uh, I just kind of threw it together. You threw it together? <laughs> yes, with and like I say old it to stuff. sound like, like rubbing the, like the, the sides of the, just the like fabric. Just, like, old stuff, old stuff that I had. But nobody else wore their cape, so now I feel weird, and now I want to take it off. Yo, that looks so sick! I should have dressed up! They're all having a good time. I didn't know. I, I just looked to Ray's Vulgar for confirmation that he did, in fact, throw this together. Ray's Vulgar not. Is, he's, he's, wait, he's not there, though. Oh, yeah, he's with Leaf. With Leaf. Oh, you turn over to look for Ray's Vulgar, and he's not there. Damn. Which I totally remembered. I completely forgot about that. Uh, well. It looks sick. You should wear it more often. It kind of drags behind. If someone steps on it, it like, you know, it, it kind of, it, I, I, I get caught up on it. There's tailors for that. You can just shorten the length a little bit. No, but then it's not as grand, though, is the thing. Well, then you just got to find people to carry the entrails behind you. Oh, I, 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 you know I can't afford that. Here, I... I Mies are always not doing anything. He can do it for free. <laughs> no, no, no. I would, I would not subject Mizaru to doing this kind of thing. He doesn't mind, do you, Mizaru? I will drink my human <laughs> alcohol beer in peace. <laughs> um. So, Wu, do you want to continue with any kind of plan, or are you just letting things happen? Uh. No, I'll just let it happen. After okay. the, the cape threw me off, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. After that, <laughs> the cape is too powerful. Uh, okay, too powerful. Now listen up, everyone, says Min. It's time we finally appreciate King for what it is. He busts out his lighthouse. This was the single that made him my favorite artist. Let's dance and enjoy. And he hits play. Let's go. And everyone's like dancing and stuff. Oh, shit. Is, is King actually about to be fire? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, 100% fire, dude. <laughs> I, I don't believe this. <laughs> I cannot believe what I am listening and to. And you right didn't now. let me sing my thing. Dang it. <laughs> let's dance. Let's go, everybody. And Team Loud and Proud is just dancing. They're just dancing like crazy across the I'm entire... Not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna say I'm breaking it down with them, bro. I'm, I'm gonna go with them. So when is this getting released on Spotify? Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> what, are you what have you actually done? This is Firemen. I know, right? It's incredible! No. Are I think you God sure himself is a man. Party? Come with me. I could use someone with your smarts. All right! <laughs> Victor is also dancing. He's having a good time. And Eden, you arrive right when this is happening. Eden, um, let's, come on! My <laughs> gosh. Here he's the king of the tower. Look at him. Oh. It's so fire, dude. I... I... I can't. This is... This is king. He's the musical artist who made this. Thank you, Damien. I was quite aware. Oh my god. Bro. No problem. Would you no. like one human beer? Oh. Human. <laughs> Damien. One human alcohol beer? What, is, what are you wearing? Hey, <laughs> As Where did this position. come from? 
my pocket. Do you sew in your spare time? Sometimes. Is it weird? The, no, that's super no. cool. That's super cool. I'm just, I didn't know you had that on hand. That's amazing. I have been working on it for a while. Not gonna lie, I did miss your old, you know, cape from the second floor. I got used to seeing that every morning, so. But now I feel silly, though, because no one Why? else wore cape. Woo! Well, I don't King! have a cape. Oh, dear. <laughs> Song is ended and we're just clapping. <laughs> what did I tell you, Damien? Wasn't it sick? It was definitely a song that was played <laughs> and entered my ears. You should have listened to it a long time ago, dude. I'm yeah, telling I was you. Just real, I was just really bu busy. What he means to say it was a, it was absolutely fire, and I want the whole discography. <laughs> send it to me now. Yes, send it, send it, send I'll, it. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you guys for you to download it for sure. For yeah, sure. sure. In fact, as I am looking into the camera, I'll release it online for everyone to enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are just you're just having a jolly good time. Mm -hmm. Jong, what are you doing while everyone's having this uh, this party in Hero Hill? Um, well, I want to be honest. Until the King's song started playing, I was like, I'm not missing out on much. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. There can be an encore performance. We can make oh, that yeah. happen. Yeah, no, we no, can. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> John, what are you what are you doing during this time though? Like while while this party's going on. Um. Uh, he's uh, he's he's probably just walking the village. Uh, you know, he doesn't really have any particular place to go. He's just not in the in the mood for a party. Um, okay, sure, sure. So you're just kind of wandering, thinking about things. Yeah, you know, power shit. Your, yeah, I get you, I get you. Um, so <laughs> you while you're all having this good time, time is passing by, and inside the labyrinth, you all end up reaching this area, this room. And it's a circular room, but the vibe that you get is that it's it's almost similar to um, the room that Ace was held in, where it's a little more modern. So it kind of surprises you when you reach it. And you look around, the room is all white, pristine, shiny, mm -hmm. and uh, the door on the other end seems to be locked. Are we done yet? Have we reached the end? I don't like this. What is this place? This doesn't seem to be day six, so we more than likely have not reached the end. All right. Now, either one or two things. This is either going to be a rest stop or this is a trap. Brack! You hear a voice. Brack! Coming from the east side of the room. Huh? Brack, hello! Huh? <laughs> and the east wall starts to rise and light starts streaming in from the outside. Who knows my name? Finally, finally the outside, we made it, says Misuk. I don't think that's the outside. And by the time it finishes rising, you see five regulars standing at, there's a barrier, a clear barrier of Shinsu. Similar to what you saw before, but you see Leaf. Brack! Can you see me? A little Leaf? Now, they're not outside outside. It's like an extra room. It's as if this room is really long and it's being cut in half by this barrier. It's you, right? Little one, what are you doing here? Uh, um, it's a part of the, you're okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. How, how is everybody else? More importantly, we're doing fine. And she's starting to sniffle as tears are gathering in her eyes. They're, they're actually today's a rest day for people on the outside, so they're back in Roku Village until ah, the big test tomorrow. Ah, they're back at the village. That's good. A uh, little one, you remember? Uh... He leans closer to the barrier so that Ace can't hear him. Uh, Sil Young's betrothed? Yeah, Ace is like, she's falling. She's not approaching the glass. She kind of okay. looks kind of awkward. She, kinda, she's, not, you know. she's not his betrothed, Brack. Don't call her that. 
wanted to mess with her. Just let me have this. I need this. I'm going insane in here. You don't understand. It's good to see you. We all miss you out here. I miss you guys too. But that's her right there. See her? Um, uh, hello? Lyria? Well, hold on, what was that? It, it, it lagged. Oh, Lyria. Bit. She's calling. Lyria? Is that you? She, I, I'm a friend of Celia. She tenses a little bit. She tenses a little bit, but just walks forward. The way the barrier is, it's almost like you're seeing them through like a screen. It's 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 a little distorted, but they're clearly mm -hmm. there. She'll she'll join Brock's side, looking a little tense, but just kind of like nods at her. It's so good to meet you. Sil Young's told me some about you. Uh, is uh, he okay? Sil Young? Yeah, yeah, he's fine. He actually started his own team, and they're climbing the tower. He really wants to find you. Uh, and she looks really torn about that. Just kind of like looks at Brack, like she's she's not gonna say anything. She's just kind of looking, looking a bit torn. Brock yeah. notices the tension, and he tries to break it. He says, <laughs> Little one, do you remember back on the second floor when I tried to rob you for strawberry water when I was trapped behind the barrier? Yes. Ah, times. Reminds me of that time right now. Yeah. You got strawberry water. <laughs> Actually, I do have a bunch of supplies. Um, they said they're going to send it to you as soon as we're, this call is done. And we did make praise. sure to throw in some strawberry water. So Praise the Shinsu. Praise the Shinsu. Praise the Shinsu. And while this is happening, you see the other teammates walk up and Crystal walks up. Misuk, you know, and they're all reuniting. The only one who uh, is not walking over is Hugo, who is still at the other end of the room. And you look over at his would-be teammate who's just leaning over at the other end of the other room. Just complete opposite sides from each other. But everyone else is talking and and making sure everything is all good. I won't get in the way of uh, this. And she just kind of like, Ace looks a lot more shaken up than you've Brack would notice of it. She's been yet. She just kind of looks very uncomfortable and very much like, I'm not gonna get in the way of this. And we'll go back to where Hugo is and just kind of lean against the same wall. As Ace is walking away, Brock just says to her, candidly, you're, you know we're going to have you meet little young again, right? And she looks him dead in the eye. I can't. You can. You can't run away from him forever. Sooner or later, you're going to have to face him. wants to see you. Brack, I can't. Not that I don't want to, I can't. All right, we can talk about this after we get out of here. She just like shirks him off and goes where she said she was. It was nice to meet you, um, Lyria. It's okay, she's like that. She's also a professional thief. She robbed me out of 200,000 points. I, I can't believe I let her get away with that. I, whatever you do, just don't let Wu, Damien, and you know, our associate Victor know. Like, this is, this is a travesty. I am, I am a piss poor leader, Young's but so happy. She's okay. Yeah, he really is. It's kind of surprising though. She told us that she came here straight here after she passed a test on the previous floor. So it's. Odd. Odd? Odd. Like, how did she set that up? Two minutes. Oh, oh thank oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Two minutes. It, it, okay, it's fine. It's fine. But how have you guys been holding up outside? Don't, We're don't fine. worry about um, it. Wu is back, by the way. He actually saved us from the ranker. It was pretty great. Um, it was good timing. Um, he left? And... Yeah, he was gone yesterday. But apparently he was just in his gourd. He was getting a secret item. Ah, uh, okay, of course. The gold. 
Got you. He'll tell you oh. about it when you when all this is over. But oh, what I, else I, happened? I, um, apparently, these final two days are going to be one big test, one final test to end this all. And um, we're a little nervous, but everyone's holding up really well for the most part. Eden is well. We'll we'll talk more after all of this. But we all miss you very much, and you're going to make it through this, okay? I have absolute confidence in my ability to be able to lead this band of miscreants to the promised land. For I am double B. But question for you, Little Leaf. Um, yeah. You said that they're combining the test over two days. Did they say anything specifically that I would need to know? I don't think so. We did win the test yesterday, so I think you're going to get a boon, or if you haven't gotten one already. But the second thing is... Apparently, there's going to be an event tonight at 6. We're all gathering in the ring to watch something on the monitor. That's basically all we know, I think. This don't sound too good. The old man did tell me that people turn on each other in here or out there so whatever you guys do whatever alliances that you form make sure you watch your backs okay thanks and 10 seconds goodbye breck i'll see you when you get out okay all right breck puts his hand on the barrier to like fist bumper <laughs> and it stops you like way before your fist would touch yeah it's just symbolic it's just course, being and then and as you're walking away, you hear Misuk say, Sir Henry, Bolsifer, may their souls rest in peace. Nine, eight, seven. And Hedge seems to be a little cheered up. Five, four, three. And then, goodbye. <laughs> and right as Leaf is saying that the wall just forcefully closes shut. And that, that little life that you felt by seeing other people, seeing anything else, it just closed off again, but a little thing on the floor opens up and a bunch of supplies are there and you see strawberry water, you see food, all kinds of things have been provided to you. All right, a banquet, yes, finally. Finally, I don't have to use my reserves anymore, and I don't have to give it to any of you. <laughs> this is even better. <laughs> okay. Ace isn't going to make any moves towards it. She's going to stay on the wall, just uh, playing with the bracelet. Brad Hugo looks back. Looks over oh. at you for a minute, but then, you know, looks away. Sorry, go ahead, Brad. No, I was going to say, Brad looks back at Ace. He picks up something, he takes it to her, hands it to her. You're going to need your strength for tomorrow. And apparently the next day. Gotcha. And then he goes back over to his banquet. Hovers over his food, one arm around it so that nobody can mess with him. He's hovered over it and he's just... <laughs> like they can hear it all. Okay, sure. Open mouth, yep. Everyone else is grabbing supplies and eating it. And uh, Taki grabs a strawberry water. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. And he starts drinking it. This is, this is amazing. Let me get more of this. Always wanted a rabbit's foot. Always wanted a rabbit's foot. Just just had to. Personal space violation just instantly. It's okay. I love you. Go, go ahead. Drink Thank up. You. Thank you. That's so good. And uh, everyone gets a bit rejuvenated. And as you continue to walk, because the door then opens up on the other side and you can continue, Hedge says, you know. It was nice. Never really cared for my team before, but it was nice to see Corbin again. Yeah, and seeing folk. Good times. Must be nice. Uh, yeah, it was. See? That's what I was trying to tell you guys. You got to do it for your team. Whatever you do, don't quit. 
persevere, not for yourself, but for those that you came here with. You're right, Can somebody? Hedge. We gotta make it through this. Yes. Otherwise, Sir Henry's sacrifice will have been in vain. I'm sure his fiance will be devastated. I pray for her and her family and his family. Was it the... Hold up. Hmm? Priestess. Was Sir Henry the one that was in the bar drinking the night before we he came was. in here? He was indeed. He may be a bit boastful at times, but he is a kind man at heart. And... He was betrothed to a princess. Oh. He mentioned something about that. But I suppose the most noble fall at times. The bur the, the brightest stars must burn out. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's continue. Brad kids all that, nods his head, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, goes back to eating. <laughs> okay. Hugo walks up to you, Ace. Kind of just looks at you. Kind of just like, not not like narrowing his eyes, but just kind of seeing what your expression is. You can talk now. You okay? I don't know. Everyone has something to fight for. And, uh, all of that was taken from me. So I don't quite know. He doesn't have anything to say to that. He just looks down and then continues walking. I walk beside him. Okay. You're all walking down the cave, filled with new energy from the food, and a couple more hours are passing by. And normally you'd be reaching your rest area pretty soon, so you're kind of on the lookout for that. And Taki's talking about his team and how amazing they are. And uh, even Hedge is... He's, Hedge especially seems to have been rejuvenated from that. He seems to be much looking much healthier. And Misuk... Not looking happier, but more content, perhaps. And you're walking down, and you're not encountering anything at all. Now, on the outside, I'm going to say the evening, it's reaching like 5.30 at this point. And the party's winding down. Amazing. Thank you all so much for coming, says Min. Wait, one more toast. For barrel. I'll raise a glass to that. Everyone says, for barrel. <laughs> for barrel. He has snuck out at this point to do what I messaged you about oh. earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So uh, as the party's winding down, John, mm -hmm. now that it's getting closer to the time when you're supposed to return to the uh, testing bureau, what are you doing? Um, well, presumably heading towards the testing bureau. On your way there, you're stopped by an older looking man. Excuse me, young regular. He's wearing like a ni nice clothing. Pretty fancy, actually. Can I help you? Would you happen to know anything about the sacred grounds that were destroyed a few days ago? Nope. You know nothing. No, and I don't really care. You see... This is very important to us in this town. Um, yeah, my name is Mayor on... Goyin, and it is vital that I find out who did this. The sacred grounds have been undisturbed for generations. I knew it was yeah, a mistake um, letting regulars free over there. Mayor Goyo, was it? What did you say your Goyin, name was? Goyin, Goyin. Right. Look, I don't really care about your village or your sacred grounds or whatever the hell it is you're talking about. I kind of have a test to take, so... How dare you? Jihad and Arye Hon fought on those grounds for their tenth duel. It is said that after the duel was over, Arye Hon got on one knee and swore his loyalty to the king of the tower. 
What makes you think I give a damn about it? And it's said that those two are the symbols on Hero Hill's doors. I'm sorry to bother you, regular. If you could point me towards someone who may know what happened, that would be very appreciated. Yeah, um, actually, if you head directly south of here, like all the way out the village. Yes, yes. There are some regulars that know something about the sacred oh, ground. Thank you very much, regular. <laughs> thank you. <Yeah. laughs> you just see him scurrying away, holding up his robe. Idiot. Uh, okay, we'll cut to Eden. So, Eden, you are on the bridge. Want to describe what you're doing? So, Eden is on the bridge while no one's really paying too much mind, and yeah. she is looking through all of the names, and she's looking for some in particular that Joseph knows about. Roll and... investigation. Okay. Oh. Natural 20, baby. I'm so happy. I wanted that to work so bad. You're looking at all the names and you're being very, you're, you're, you're not taking your time, but you're just going, well, you're, you're actually making pretty, very good time. You're seeing all kinds of names jumbled. A lot of names that you can tell are completely fake. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you're good. You feel like you've gone through the entire thing and you're almost like about to give up, but then you, at the very bottom right, off in a little corner, it's very mm -hmm. faded at this point. Mm-hmm. Nari. Anything else? Any other name beside it? Any other marking? Anything else? It's, if there was, it's all scuffed up at this point and hard to tell. <sighs> She leans down, and can she tell if it was inscribed by Nari or by somebody else? Nari. She just breaks down. She loses all composure that she's held this whole time, and she is just, she's lost it. John, I'm going to say you're like walking, you, you just got done, you know, calling him an idiot. And you look over and you see Eden just like crying, just breaking down on the bridge. John kind of just stares at her and he gets like a little concerned as he's watching her. Like how, how, like, are you like, you're just like. Laying all the tears out, Eden, mm -hmm. you're just like completely breaking down. Okay. Hundreds of years of grief. Okay, well, you're John. This is quite quite a sight for you to see. John just kind of look, he looks a little like taken aback. He's not quite sure how to how to approach her. There we go. Okay. And then after a couple minutes. Jong makes his way slowly over towards the bridge. You see Eden just crying and crying. And loudly. at this point, she's like wrapped herself around that part of the bridge. And she's like holding onto it for dear life. Jong walks over and stands on like the other end of the bridge, but he's, you know, by Eden. Someone you knew? She just looks up at him and she, you can just see it's just... She's like she's shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> she, she was here, Chong. <laughs> My baby. You mean your daughter? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, she, she was the one who put her name on the bridge. This is her writing. I know it anywhere. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, then that's probably good, right? I mean, maybe she's climbing the tower. No. She already had. Eden. You see? Look how cute she used to write. She always put a flower at the top of her eyes. She did that ever since she was little. And then Jung slowly makes his way over to Eden. And very, very slow and hesitantly at first. But he reaches his hand out and just puts it on her shoulder. Yeah. You, can, you can feel she is shaking violently. Pretty handwriting. Eden, I'm not... I don't... Look, if your daughter is anything like you, then she's definitely still out there. Somewhere. Shang, she's not. I told you. I know what you said, but... You're... You know strong and capable, stubborn. So that means there's a good chance she is, I think. Did you bury your mother? Because I buried my daughter. She's not out there. I know exactly where she is. Eden. I'm sorry. Do you have a knife? Your, your um, sword? Um... Yeah. Here, and he reaches into his pocket and pulls out, like, a small knife. She takes it, and she starts carving out the wood that has the handwriting in it to try and keep it. Yeah, you're, you're easily able to. Okay. And she's just clinging onto it for dear life. And at this point, everyone's now leaving Hero Hill nearby. Great party, guys! Let's go! Oh, okay. Hey, we'll see you guys in the test tomorrow. We're still we're still good, right? And everyone's just coming out. Eden, what is your? Are you still like in that position? She she's she's stood back up now, but she's just okay. She's holding the wood to her heart and just holding mm -hmm. on to it for dear life. Everyone's left now, and you see, you know, Wu, Damien, Victor, you you're leaving, at, and um, it's. Hey, we got five minutes. Let's get going. And they're heading towards you on the bridge. Hey, hey. Hey, everything good? Eden, what's wrong? Yeah. Victor, everything's fine. Let's just, let's get ready for the test. Eden, you okay? Eden, what did you see? Things don't look fine. She Guys, just has, let's... She has the little piece of wood cupped in her hands now. Just drop this for now. Victor looks at Jong... Okay. Okay. 
But before he just, he doesn't like leave. He just puts a hand on your shoulder, Eden. See, it's my baby. <laughs> she was here a long time ago. <laughs> she was still here. <laughs> now he's like closing you in tight. You're so sweet. <laughs> it's just my little Nari. Yeah. Victor's like looking up at the others as if he's kind of unsure. Yeah. Y'all Regulars. Four minutes for the test. Well, four minutes for the event. Meet up at the testing bureau in four minutes. If you're not there, you will be eliminated. Shut. Oh, I, I, uh, I, I guess, I guess we should go. Now. Let's go. <laughs> Just kind of like, very shakily starts walking towards the testing bureau. Victor still has his arms around your shoulders. She's not fighting anything. She's kind of leaning on him more for support. Okay. But still, like, just very closely holding the wood. Sure, sure. Everyone gets in front of the testing bureau. 30 seconds. 30 seconds pass by. Everyone's here. Good. Too much paperwork otherwise. Let's go. And the two rankers take you back through the testing bureau. And uh, a couple minutes later, you end up back in the field, the main center area ring. And you see Mr. Glue standing in the middle of the ring. Good, you actually came. Excellent. It's just about time. While you're all lining up, Inside the labyrinth, Brack, Ace, your entire team ends up finding, finally, you reach what appears to be a safe room, similar to what you've been in before, circular. It looks exactly the same as it always had. Oh, finally, thank God, I'm tired. This was a good day. We got to see our teammates. God bless us. He said the next two days. What day is it? The end of day four. Hmm. All right. What's wrong, Mike? Um, well, Little Leaf told me that the testing will start in the next two days. But I don't know what the tests are. And now that I have this information, I don't know what to do with it. I'm sure that you're simply... And then you hear this huge noise from all around you. The walls start shaking, crumbling, and pieces of granite are falling from atop the wall. What was that? I knew it. I couldn't count. All right, I think the test is getting ready to start. You hear a voice over the speakers. Forced elimination. Forced elimination. Oh no. And then the walls are slowly closing in around you. Like so Brack. slowly that it's hard to tell at first. Forced elimination. Forced elimination. Seven yes. regulars detected. Seven regulars detected. Yes. Uh, Ace? He's just looking at him like, do you not hear this? Yes, I hear it. It's, it's, it's saying forced elimination. Seven regulars detected. Six life forms required. Six life forms required. On the outside, Mr. Glue. All right, time to watch the event. He hits a remote and the big monitor 
blips into place, and you're all able to see on this huge monitor from atop the cave, a top-down view, you see the seven people in the room looking around frantically. Can we hear what's being said over the speaker? Yes. Seven regulars detected. Seven regulars detected. What the hell's happening? Says Victor. It's a death match. Seven regulars detected. Seven regulars detected. Six life forms in the room is just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I'll move you to this thing on roll 20. Uh, I don't like this. No, I don't like this either. Let me grab this. Brack, what's going on? This is Hedge. Oh. Old man. Young man. You did say that it would force us into a situation where we will have to quit, right? I never said that. What? But you said it would, we would be put in a situation where we would quit. Where we would need to quit. Can certainly try. However, something tells me it may be too late. So you're telling me that these walls are going to close unless six everyone is required. Everyone here dies. What about the cargo? No. It's asking for six of us. There are seven of us. And it's asking for six. So that means that the cargo would have to die, along with five of you. If you want to fail the test, perhaps. Six of us are required. Shit, this is Hedge. Ah! I think I get your thinking, old man. All right. Six life forms required. Which means that someone would have to be left behind. Crap. So, what, 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 what do you mean? What's, what's going on? It seems, it seems like this one's a sacrifice. Someone needs to die. And the room is just getting smaller and smaller. I'm gonna adjust it here on rule 20. Mr. One Gloom, person. is what they're saying true? One person has to die in order for this to stop? Uh, hmm, hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They gotta turn on each other. That's part of the game. This, this is why you don't get attached. I don't think anyone has to die. Gimbal, you said someone can quit at any point in time and it would take remove them from the field, right? Would you like to try, Rack? I'm not quitting. What I was going to advise is who here has lost the most? It's all right. I'll do it. I quit the game no don't go please spare these other regulars mr Riker. and on the outside it's just dead silence <laughs> Rack, this isn't gonna work <laughs> oh it's funny i don't know where they got that idea and he just keeps watching Ace just like at this point can figure they're being watched and she just flips off both of the monitors. I tug on Mr. Blue's duct tape. Yeah. I tug on like the left leg of his duct tape. 
I'm kind of crouched down next to him. Hey. Mm hmm. So this is fun to you? Yeah. It's pretty boring. Well, the action hasn't started yet. Oh, we're waiting for something. Mm-hmm. Well. It's getting smaller and smaller. Change it on roll 20. Uh, so, that didn't work. Looks like you're still it. Why didn't it work? Because we're in Don't. the middle of an event. Exactly. It's too late for that sort of thing now. Guys, the walls are closing in. I'm getting a little, a little claustrophobic. Ace kind of like directs her head up. So this is your game, huh? You're not gonna give us anything. You're just gonna watch us slowly die? No response. Brack moves to the middle. He sits down, and he just says that he's not going to fight. Oh, Brack, 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 Brack. And as you say that, you feel something kind of coat you, and you kind of start shining in a crystal. Just suddenly, you're looking down, and this light kind of starts emanating from you. And you're remembering Ew. what Leaf said about the boon, Brack. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that yesterday. Uh, the winner from Finders Keepers is immune. They can't die during this test. Well, unless, of course, no one dies, in which case he will die. So that Brad can't, can't die during the test. Well, if someone uh, else dies. But of course, someone still has to die, otherwise they all die. He didn't even know that he had the boon before he gave up. Before he chose not to fight us. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. That's not how these tests work. Brack, you gotta fight! Are we fighting? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, can I- I can't talk, I'm in a crystal form, Anna. You can talk, you, you, you're able to move around and stuff. We've all spent our time walking through these corridors together for them to just pit us against each other and turn on each other. The point. It's not the point. Why send heroes into a goddamn labyrinth to just to fight against each other in the end? Because heroes are meant to fall, Brack. Well, I won't fall. No, you're in a crystal. You're safe. Even if you all survive, we'll all still die. I choose not to fight. Well, it's, it's valiant of you, but when your life is not the one that has to go, easier to say. It's okay. What if we... What is God's plan in all of this? I gotta find Charlie no matter what. The hedge picks up his spear. Ace will immediately take out her needle and hold it in front of her. Hugo grabs his hammer. We can't be fighting. This is not what God would want. Please. Me so. Do not fight. I have no choice, says Hedge. Hedge, you do have a choice. No, I don't! We gotta kill someone or we all die. No, don't. Don't. Hedge, when we were in the bomb room and we had that big, massive, exploding behemoth in front of us, when we were at their mercy and all we had to do, all we could do was wait, they could have killed us then. I don't think they'll kill us now. I'm not taking that chance. He looks around. I'm not gonna kill you, he says to Ace. Otherwise this whole thing's for nothing. 
You worried about that? I don't want this. God, what is the answer? Gembu is just standing there. You can't tell his expression. He's just motionless. Well, I'm with you, Breck. I'm not going to fight either. Thank you, Tahi. Because what's the point of climbing the tower if we have to do this kind of thing? It wouldn't be worth it! We already lost Barrel. We can't lose anybody else. They must be watching. <laughs> no, Taki! Yeah, ta Taki. Discord's like, no emotion, no, no anything. <laughs> We're just gonna cut out. <laughs> You're good, Joe. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Quick recovery is all good. So none of you are going to fight? All... Why are you all acting like this is a surprise? Have you not climbed the tower? We have climbed the tower. I've faced far worse than anything that they could possibly throw at me in, in this cylindrical death trap. To give in to their demands here and now when it's completely a situation that does not feasibly make sense for the test that we've been given. To throw it all away. Days of work. Days of bonding. Days of being together. I won't harm any one of you. And you yeah. shouldn't harm each other. It's entertainment. They want to see us bond and get close. Then there are stakes, and then it's more entertaining for them. And so Don't you act given, surprised. And so you were given to them for the mere sake of entertainment? Exactly. Some of us do not have the luxury of choice. We're dead if we don't say yes to this. Who told you? I'm never going to see Charlie again. Six, seven life forms detected. Six life forms required. Remember what I said, there's a loophole to everything. Find it then. I did. What is it? We're waiting. Do nothing. That's not the loophole. Okay. I agree. <laughs> Closing in. Victor, what do you think of this whole situation? Obviously, this is a terrible position to be in, but I think if we get out of this, Brack is obviously not going to die, but his leadership will die at the end of this. I respect Brack, but I think he underestimates the cruelty of these tests. The cruelty of these tests. We've been lucky so far. To be honest, we've had death matches before. Remember the second floor? Every regular who didn't pass King of the Sea died. This is nothing new. It's just they made their prey become friends before they sent them to the guillotine. Yeah, Mr. Clue. Oh, so boring. When are they going to make a move? Please don't tell me they're all going to act self-righteous this whole time. Hey, I thought this was part of your fun. Mm -hmm. It is. Well, once they finally do something. So all of this is for the one moment of impetus where they take action and you get to get some sort of... Look, you what, can't blame me. I'm blaming, blaming me. you. I'm, it has nothing to do with you. I'm just trying to figure out what your idea of fun is. Because to me, this is the most boring thing I've ever seen, and all you're doing is sitting here watching a bunch of people anguish. I've been a test Where is the fun? for a long time. Entertainment, it's become a different thing for me. Now just watch. Provoke it. <laughs> the walls are getting closer and closer, more and more and more. He needs to take control, Victor. He needs to take control of the situation. Brack tells Taki to come stand on his shoulders. Okay. Yeah. Why? Why are we doing this? Brack tells Hedge to come stand on his shoulders. I'm not getting close to you. I'm sorry, Brack. 
look at me. If one of you decides to betray each other, either way I survive. Get on my shoulders. I'm not. I'm gonna find my son, Breck. Hugo, what about you? And Hugo, he's looking around with a hammer in his hand. He looks at you, Ace. And when he does, his eyes kind of widen for a second before he focuses them again. Brock extends his hand to Hugo. To join him in the middle. He shakes his head. Brock extends his hand to young man to come to the middle. He just tilts his head down as if to hide his face. He extends his hand to me, uh, to the priestess to come to the middle. They just, they just need a sacrifice, right? And she smiles. Do, do not do it. Do not give them what they want. Do not give them selfish bastards one drop of blood. Do not give them one iota of your life. Come to the middle. Get smaller. Don't pay attention to the sounds. Just come to the middle. I wish I could, Brack. What about Sir Henry? She stops. What about the life that he lost participating in this test? Do not throw that away. Come to the goddamn middle. If I don't do this, all of you will die. All of your teammates. All of your friends. My teammates will be fine. They are not partaking in this test. Your teammates will be fine. They are not partaking in this test. Rabbit's teammates are fine. They are not partaking in this test. Everyone here's teammates will be fine because they are not involved. This is dealing with the heroes. And if the heroes do not commit an unrighteous act, we will be fine. Just come to the middle. Every single last one of you, come to the middle. Ace? Ace is just standing there with the bracelet and she's just holding it like that with her eyes closed and she's not thinking of anything or saying anything. She's just kind of having a moment. Very frustrated. But she's not going to interfere. Guys! This is Taki in the middle. He's the only one with you. Anyone? Please? She turns to you, Brack, and Misuk has been looking at you for a while, as if almost entertaining the thought of joining you. She takes a deep breath. And three crystal butterflies start flying through the air. And she just smiles at you. And she walks over to Hedge, slowly. (laughs) 
It's okay, she says to him. His eyes are red. Edge, don't you do it. He picks up his spear. Edge, put down the spear. It's just like with the crown game. Do yeah. not give them what they want. He stops right before the spear hits her chest. <laughs> you dumb son of a bitch. And then he screams as a stick erupts out of his chest. His eyes. And the stick is pulled out of his chest. He lands on his knees and just collapses onto the ground. And you see Genbu behind him. This the wall oh. stops right as it was about to enclose around all of you. Good thing I didn't apologize. <laughs> Six regulars detected. Six regulars required. Six regulars detected. Six regulars required. Hedge. Hedge! Taki runs over to him. Hey, 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 hey. He's holding him. Hey, hey! Let him go, Rabbit. He's dead. Hey. It should have been me. Why didn't you kill me? Gambu just has his face down. And he looks up and you see like a tear falling down his cheek. I had to see so you all. But young man, you're the only one who's ever survived this test. Because he's hey. a survivor. What about your son? You're gonna find your son, right? Hey, Hedge! <laughs> Taki just breaks down. Why? <laughs> Ace will look at Brack and say, you know why you don't trust survivors? Because you don't know what they did to survive in the first place. It's stuff like that. And she'll walk over and search uh, Hedge's pockets for anything that might help her identify his son or something. Hugo like puts light. a hand on your arm as if to stop you. I'm not stealing for the reason that you think. He wants to find his son. I, can, I might be able to help. It's what we owe him. He slowly lets go. She'll respectfully search and see if there's anything that she can gather that... Sure. There's just a pool of blood steaming from... spreading from Hedge's body. Doesn't phase her. She wants to save anything she can before it gets sure. soaked. You, you... He barely had anything on him at all. You find... a tiny little locket and... On the inside, you see Hedge with a woman and a young kid, like, smiling, like a toothy grin. Does she recognize them? No. She'll put it... She'll, she'll wipe it off with the edge of her um, shirt and pocket it and just sort of give a moment of silence. This can't be happening. It should have been me. It should have been me. Hedge would be alive if he had just... Let's go. It should have been you. You're right. Young man. 
Young man. This Young is just the way man. that the tower works. No, it's not. It is, Breck. It's I don't not. know what tower you've been living in, but this is how it works. It's cruel. It's not that cruel. Then you've been privileged to think so. Well, I'm not. You don't even know me. You don't know me either. Yeah, but I've been living longer than you. All right. So, young man, let me get this straight. So, you, you killed the one that had the most to live for and not the one that didn't. Right? Are you saying I should have killed myself? Because I'm so old. Yes! You should have killed yourself. Someday I will. No, it should have been at that moment. But if I you wanted to save us, you should have gotten rid of yourself. What you defending, Gambo? What you been doing this whole time? I still have lives to save. Oh, and when my time God, the one you just took? Oh my God. Like I said, I just saved all of you. You were too scared to do what must have been done. Hedge was a good man. And this test goes on for another two days. So what if you have to take another life, maybe three? Very Would it be that easy? I'll do what I what? must to save you all. But what if you have to take out the other five of us? You would do what you have to to save yourself. Then at that point, you're not fulfilling your own goal. Oh, yes. Let's get moving. Hugo steps over to Hedge's body. His face is pretty straight. He stoops down and picks it up and yeah, just that gaping hole in his chest and he, he just he's carrying him in his big arms and he starts walking to like leave the door leave through the door that just opened up Ace to follow him God why Gambu also follows after them Brack turns to uh, <laughs> to the priestess don't ever make a choice like that again. Right now, in this situation, remember what I said. It's up to you to act. Your prayers are just a conduit towards your actions. Act first, then worry about the result later. Right now, we just lost someone because we had an individual perform an act instead of listening to the rest of the team. Don't do that. She's silent, looking down. Brack? Yes, Rabbit. I can trust you, right? I didn't kill you, did I? <laughs> this cave makes people go crazy. Who knows what we'll do tomorrow or the next day? Who knows how long we'll be in here? Rabbit. Hedge just met with his team. He was starting to cheer up a little bit. Damn it. I'm so useless. Brock grabs Taki and embrace him, like, in a hug. And he tells the rabbit, don't. Now is not the time to cry. We still have two more days to get through. This cave isn't making anyone insane. What it's doing is exposing everyone's true nature. We've just seen what the old man is capable of. Do not for a second drop your guard. We don't know what the next test will hold. We don't know exactly what will happen. And so 
you need to be on guard. Then Brax lets him go, pats him on his back, turns around and walks walks through the uh, door. They follow behind you. On the outside, everyone's just in silence. And Lexi's shouting, Hedge! Hedge! Well, I guess that was a little entertaining. Maybe you're right. That wasn't actually as fun as I thought it would be. It was boring, Mr. Gru. If that's what you call entertainment, I'm so sorry to tell you. No, 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 this no. I wanted them to start fighting each other, and eventually they'd cut down to one, but what I is, guess... What, what, are, what are you now, by the way? Is this ON3 of you wanting something to happen and it not happening in the way? Maybe you should change your approach. Maybe I should quit my job. I think that'd be more entertaining. You no, know, that sounds like something that would make you exponentially happy. Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, team journey. Let me see. Marissa, Lexi, Corbin, Zeus. Uh, you fail the test. Uh, you are eliminated. Bye. You can leave. Go. And uh, Marissa is really bandaged up, but she just starts walking out. Corbin starts walking out, and Zeus, and Lexi's just... <laughs> it's amazing. And she turns and leaves as well. Well, regulars, that is all for today. You may go back to your campsites, and we'll continue the test tomorrow. Remember, it's going to take place over two days from noon to noon, 24 hours, be on your best behavior. And he throws out his duct tape and flies away. He's a bigger problem than I thought he was. Two more days with him and I might lose my mind. Last night I tried to appeal to his better judgment, but it did not work at all. You assumed that that man has judgment, Damien. That was your first mistake. Well, I mean, that's what you did too, right? I know. I was wrong too, so... Ultimately, he can't be reasoned with. He's out of his mind. Hey, and Leaf walks up. We arrived just in time to see that. I feel so bad for Brack. Brack tried to do the right thing. At the end of the day, it's nobody's fault. Are all of you okay? Yeah, yeah, just all the celebrating before now just seems so benign. Let's fo refocus our energy on figuring out how we all survive the next two days. Victor is still rubbing your shoulders, Eden. You okay? She just has a very, very, very blank look, just still looking at the screen. And there is no red in her eyes. They are like black, just pitch black. Let's let's go back to the camp. And the group starts heading towards the camp. Can I can I run over and before the other team leaves? Yeah, Lexi's just about to uh, head into the bureau. Yeah. Hey, uh, listen. I'm really sorry about what happened. I didn't know him that well, but still sad to see. It's just that you guys had so much riding on him and it's, this test is just, it's just unfair. 
I'll never forget one thing. When she puts her hand on your shoulder, you saved my life. All of our lives. And I'm grateful. Just continue to live. And in the end, we'll meet again. We will. We must. No. Okay. Get out of here. Go to another testing area and and pass. I will. We'll see each other again. I'm not giving up. And she nods to you and starts leaving. You can't. You guys have a duty now. And she shuts the door. You all start making your way to the campsite. Day four starts winding down. Inside the labyrinth, it's just total silence. You all do eventually find a place to set up camp, but no one's saying a word. Hugo does end up finding a little area. He kind of taps the ground. And then he spends the next hour digging into the ground. And he ends up placing Hedge's body after a long while of working into this hole and covers it up. Rock walks over to the hole uh, that Hugo dug up as he's putting Hedge's body in the uh, ground. Um, after before he covers it up, Brock puts his hand on Hedge's chest, like over the area where the wound is. He bows his head, closes his eyes. For just a brief moment of silence. And then he just utters the words as he live so may he rest let the shinsu continue to guide you and drift you through the infinite waves that are constantly crashing on this chaotic day and then he releases his hands from his chest or his hand from his chest he stands up he taps Hugo on the shoulder and he walks away Hugo just stands there for a moment and then does his best to cover up the hole before everyone heads to bed. With that, we're going to end today's episode. My cat is meowing at me now. My cat is not happy with the way that ended. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> How How dare you? The whole buddy. Oof. Happy. Damn. Hey. Day four is over. Two more days. Let's go. Was that comment I made before the stream like a joke to you? Like, you just like, oh, yeah, I'm like, that's great, bro. I, I love it. We're that all just love staring. Hedge. And tragedy arises from the depths of despair. That was one of the first things we said when he joined the call was, I like I like Hedge, right? You were saying yes. that? <laughs> My yes, favorite so line I from last like, week's episode was Hedge hand, being you know? like, Screw the gem, I just want to live. Yeah, that's true. Damn. It's his own fault though, he planted too many death labs. <laughs> yeah, it's Hedge's fault, definitely. Definitely yes. Hedge's fault. <laughs> not the old geezer that's like, I've done this test a million no, times, I'm not some. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hey, don't trust him. And Brack's like, what were you talking about? Apologize. And now he's like, old young man. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't do. He didn't do. He, he chokes didn't do on anything. the partitioner's blank. Okay, that's what I hope. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't do anything bad. Like everything, everything seemed like he was actually there to help it. Actually, when she blew the three butterflies, I thought that she was about to try to attack Taki while pretending to go get Han by Hedge. That's what I was thinking. I thought she was doing a setup move, like we was playing multiverses. So, that man knew the outcome from the beginning. Yeah. Dude. It was so <laughs> disgusting to watch. And I really thought Brax's plan was accurate. 
Yeah, so, I did I, too. The, the, the crazy thing is, Ace acted accordingly in the situation, so that also like threw more wrenches the problem. I'm surprised at Hedge's behavior, bro. I wish he would have just fucking listened, man. I lost my favorite character. Misu could have died, but no, <laughs> Hedge is dead. <laughs> Ooh. And now we enter the bargaining stage. Must say, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> don't yeah, it, is the, it is the bargaining there's still time. stage. There's still time. There's still two days. Okay, Ruka, no, okay. come on. <laughs> well, Ruka, if Misu oh, okay. tries to like two days, any of them to survive. If to the next two days, I will be happy. That's fine. That's cool. She right. It's two days. Blood for the blood god. That man is out there and he wants blood. Listen. A more dust. Just not talky. I can't take Ace it. Ace assumes everyone is going to get De die or have near-death experiences. She's not expecting survival, so this was not a surprise. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, offici I'm officially declaring Mr. Glue no longer a Towers and Gods character. He is a Warhammer 40k character, <laughs> through and through, <laughs> through and through. He just wants death and destruction. <laughs> just death just and destruction. Toilet the paper man, look, look, the man ass. just needs a new passion <laughs> in life. You Never trust like her that because that means man. You don't know what they did to get there. Track. Don't worry, guys. I can fix him. No! <laughs> no, no, no. He can't be fixed. No, he cannot be fixed. You, you, already, <laughs> you already took on one head case, yeah. aka Flux let him, Fall. Let him find himself. Hey, okay, him listen. Anything. Damien's cape. Damien's cape. Oh, soul fire, dude. Can we just that appreciate fire. Soul the fire. embellishment that he put on himself? Well, we'll would be a shame if that. someone yeah. stole it, but it I mean, bro, why did you no not one else put that on me. during the Janice interview? You could have been so. <laughs> she would have immediately been like, "Oh wait, you're you're the yeah. okay." <laughs> <laughs> I've been Surely sitting on that for so Jess. long. I think Joe himself even forgot <laughs> that I had <laughs> that. Because <laughs> I was like, "Hey, you want me to actually do this?" Yeah, um, yeah I'm saying if you had done it, you could have been featured in the next issue of Capes Weekly, dog. Like, yeah, I'm so disappointed that 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 Damien didn't have a cape because i was like that's why i was here man challenge that cape so <laughs> i'm rejuvenated seeing that new cape tonight i'm like it's on it's back on i, mean, I don't know guys do you really think i could be in capes weekly because that is i don't know i think you have what it takes uh, with that new one dude yeah. <laughs> honestly i think you could i think you, could. you need to be able to clap and it just pops up and then we yes. have shout out to Haku in the chat with a million quotation marks. Defender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Haku, Haku knows yeah. what's up. He's like, Haku knows good. Haku knows what's up. Yeah. I'm a defender, but you're Not sticking in his chest, though. Yeah. You, what, what are you defending? He defends himself. <laughs> what? No. He defends the group. I, I want to give a shout keep, out. Keeps coming back, dude. Crazy. I'll put the character him. poll in the chat. Please go vote in the character poll. It's in the description as well. Haku organized this whole thing. Go show him some support. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, like the video if you enjoyed the episode. Memes and fan art will feature it next episode if you post it this week in the Discord. The link is down below. Thank you to everybody and we'll see you next Friday. Bye bye everybody. Bye. 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 Take, care. Take care of yourselves. Literally who will live, who will die. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it like that. You can't.